Hi to Chaco. Here is Lucy. There's a Death Knight, uh, Lord Lightstalker, and what do we have here? We have Chimiko with the Andromath, which is the Arc base. He's creeping over here. Got a mantle of intelligence. That's a nice item there. And he's gonna kill this turtle. Mmm. Another mantle of intelligence. That's really nice. Plus six damage. Is he attacking, by the way, Chimiko? He's gonna lose his water elemental. Uh, he got two water elementals already, this Death Knight. Two times 42 is 84. That's how you do math, and that's how you can look at the XP of the Death Knight and see what uh, what he got so far. Uh, Chimiko is not tacking, so is he going for an expansion on this map? He uh, is not close position, he is cross position. So what? What? where is he going to build an expand? Is it going to be over here? Or is it going to be over here? Unfortunately, he cannot really creep this with uh, Militia. So it has to be either of those two. It looks like... Um, He's calling the militia. Let's see what way it looked like he, he's going this way. Can you so show some KB replays? What does KB mean? Kilobyte? I mean, that's what it means to me. Kilobyte. KB. Here come some skeletons. We do have plenty of mana for more uh, steals on... Level uh, 4 uh, not false worms, uh, forest tools. Water elemental went down to the creeps. Still at 84 XP here. It does kill both of the uh, trolls without the death knight even being close. Look how much, how low these hit points are on the death knight. A lot of the damage is because of this arc mage doing plus 6 damage. And uh, this fiend is taking a lot of damage as well. Plus 6 damage is so much uh, extra damage. On average, he does, what is it, 50, 27 damage. So plus 6, 27 plus 6, that's more than, let's see, oh, he's not expanding? That's like 30% uh, extra damage or so. I can't do the math at the moment, but it's a lot of uh, extra damage, so it's definitely uh, really good. Imagine if, like how many times did he attack it? He's at 94 hit points. Let's see, let's say he attacked him like 15 times, is that true? Maybe, let's say 10 times, just to to uh, not exaggerate. Let's say you attack 10 times the, the Death Knight, that's 60 extra damage. He would be at 60 more hit points. Well, eh, meh, I guess that wouldn't matter. But here, here, here he is again. He's just right-clicking the Death Knight. He could easily, easily kill this turtle or the Water Metal can. There, he steals the turtle. The Death Knight is still level 1 here. Chimiko's Archmage already level 3, of course. And I think he did get a big turtle here. He's uh, 107 XP. Wait a second. 107. He was earlier at 84. No way he got the big turtle. The big turtle is more than 23. I think he just got the small turtle. That's exactly 23 actually. Uh, 20 plus 15% because he was a uh, tier 2. So you get 15% extra XP. So 20 plus 15% is 23. So the big turtle actually went to Chimiko. Bad early game by Lucy. Uh, horrible early game by Lucy. I uh, I don't know. I don't know why. This death knight was so low on hit points. Maybe if I paid attention. <laughs> Maybe if I pay attention to the games I cast, I would know. But uh, yeah, he was he was already so low by the time Chamiko started creeping this that he couldn't harass anything. He couldn't steal a single creep. He only got two water elementals. Besides that. Even Chimiko gets two of the turtles there, so... Level 4 Archmage now, <laughs> against that level 2 Death Knight. The Water Elemental just right-clicking this Death Knight, but he has the Ring of Protection and a Potion of Healing and Sacrificial Skull, but he's going for the main. Double Slaughterhouse coming up. Does he have three Fiends or more? Three Fiends. Everyone likes to play three Fiends now. They realize... They probably uh, realize that's the strongest. I mean, that's what Happy has been doing all the time. Uh, I'm not sure if he can, if Happy came up with it or if other and dads already did it earlier. But Happy always does three fiends against human, and Happy never loses against human. This footman is going down. Three fiends into double slaughterhouse, and this seems uh, to be what Lucifer is doing here as well. Actually, I think I saw Lucifer do this yesterday as well. And I think I said the same thing because uh, 120, for example, he gets more fiends usually. He's, is Chimiko going to run around to the trees and go for the main base again? This one, the, about 7 hit points, it survives, but the skeleton is hunting him down. 
Slayer's forces are under attack. Gonna reach level 5 so early. Maybe. Oh, he retrained to Blizzard. Maybe if he would creep more, but I don't think he's uh, gonna creep more. He's just gonna harass more and more. Destroyers might solve. I. I don't. Um, well, maybe. I mean. Death Knight is. Uh, sure, uh, level 3 Death Knight would be nice for your destroyers. But here come the footman. With defend. We have three things still. We have uh, two statues. Of course, statues do double damage against footmen. I wonder, uh, do they do more damage than the statues, than fiends? I believe so, right? Someone asked me that earlier, and I calculated it for him. Oh, what? Archmage staffed into the main base, into the back of the base. I was expecting him to come from this side, but he was just staffed in to, uh, to a footman. footman. And he's using level 2 blizzard. This, uh, this gold mine is going down 250 hit points. And a beautiful blizzard on all the acolytes. He moves them out of the way of the blizzard, but uh, some of them do get hurt. But there goes another footman. Is there, are there any footmen left? Just one footman and a blizzard. Is that enough? No, I don't think that's going to be enough. We'll have to TP out here. Use the info potion. Uh, kills actually three buildings there. And there it is. GG. What a game. What a one-sided game. There's a ziggurat in the back. Uh, no graveyard. So very late graveyard. Normally you build the graveyard before the second ziggurat, right? If you go early fiends. So this game, I think we're gonna... Or we're not going to go early fiends. We're gonna go late fiends. Very late fiends, maybe. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I remember these uh, build orders are wrong. But I believe against human, you build the graveyard there. Instead of this second ziggurat. Maybe it's gonna. Maybe he saw the PCG against Yumiko match yesterday. You guys remember the guys that watched my stream yesterday instead of uh, watching back to Warcraft stream? You could see a game of PCG against Yumiko, which was really interesting. PCG never built a graveyard. Did he build a graveyard? I don't remember. He built a graveyard. No, I, he did not build a graveyard. He built these buildings, and that's it. He went to tier two, got the panda. And just went to tier 2 ghoul rush. Just out of one crypt. He kept building ghouls. He kept uh, buying skeletons. And just kept rushing this expansion. Where there was only one arcane tower up really. So he was able to fight there with the skeletons. In fact, was there even one tower up? Maybe at some point um, it got up. But at first there wasn't even a tower up. So with a lot of ghouls, a lot of skeletons. The panda, the death knight. He was able to do quite some damage. But in the end he did lose to the mountain king of uh, Yumiko. This time we have an arc meso and he's gonna creep here these guys by the way very low hit points the skeleton I don't think he can kill this guy but if the Chimika doesn't pay attention the skeleton uh, actually the skeleton just is going to die meanwhile the death knight creeping over here Claws of attack of course very nice for the lich PCG played too bad yesterday sounds like a shit chat <laughs> I mean I don't know like, it didn't win. I've only seen it being played once in my entire life. And it didn't win. Uh, but, you know... You cannot judge a strategy by one one play. I mean, it, it sounds... You're right, though. It sounds pretty shitty, but... I don't know if it's any good if... Oh, wait. There's nothing yet. Nothing up yet. Is he attacking? No, he's trying to go for the expansion. There goes the peasant. And uh, these other peasants take a lot of damage as well. Here come the militia, though. To save these peasants, two ghouls here. One ghoul does get microed out. Uh, Baron Mort has 306 ex XP. He kills another peasant here. Already, uh, okay, loses a ghoul, but still. Already much better early game for lose for this game than last game. Uh, this peasant taking a lot of damage. The skeleton uh, dying as well. The Archmage level 3 though. Tyrannosaurus Rex is his name. Uh, another skeleton does go down. But this footman, not footman, ghoul takes a coil. Let's see, what did we have? We have uh, two dead militia. Or that ghoul so far? Is that it? Or or three even? I forgot to count. I uh it you cannot see these bodies because on that with the skeletons. Maybe I should just count uh, count how many skeletons the death knight has. Or look how many skeletons the death knight has before the fight. Oh he doesn't see this footman, else he would have killed it. Oh is he surrounded by footmen? It does get more uh more more sensory words. Usually the first one 
I'm really big fan of the first Sensi Wards. It's always the best item you can get. But, uh, set, oh, we'll survive with six hit points. But the second set of Sensi Wards is usually uh, not as good because he already has the Sensi Wards. The second set of Sensi Wards is not going to do anything until he uh, until these Sensi Wards expire. Expansion is coming up here for Chimiko. Is it going for the main base? Remember, there's no fiends. No fiends, right? No. These ghouls, one ghoul, very low on hit points. Death Knight is uh, level 2, Archmage level 3. But it's not that much of a difference con con uh, compared to last game. Death Knight is almost level 3. In fact, just needs uh, 84 XP. There was a coil on this ghoul. Uh, the Archmage stops out. Interesting. Okay, there were ghouls here. Of course, I uh, noticed those girls, ghouls walking out earlier. I forgot about them somehow. Because I have the memory of goldfish. Archmage hunting down these ghouls. This one will probably for sure die. Uh, oh, maybe he can get Acolyte. He does get Acolyte. And now he moves these other way. Uh, away. This ghoul goes down as well. But just before the water elemental goes down. And uh, this Acolyte, very low on hit points. This Archmage never killed this ghoul. Uh, I guess that ghoul didn't go down. Even though I said it will probably go down for sure. Uh, this these footman go for this acolyte. This acolyte here is still very low. He sends a few uh, footmen to the other one. Well, it kills the first acolyte. And Lucifer losing this acolyte as well. Is he still still tired? Or uh, or what? Lucifer not playing too great here. And another acolyte is going to get coiled and survive. We have a level 3 death knight now. And a lich is out as well. He lost so many acolytes. Like 3 or 4. Or is Chamiko just playing godly? I mean, Chamiko is definitely playing very well. But I cannot say the same about Lucifer at the moment. There's a water elemental. And here, is he going uh, all in at tier 2? Just like that, uh, just like PCG went the other day. There's only one tower. Let's see, we have some ghouls, we have some fiends, two fiends. Quite a strong army uh, compared to Chamiko's army, of course, with just a few footmen. Look at them dying to the first Nova. The Lich and the Death Knight just fighting these units by themselves, while the ghouls and the fiends fighting against the Archmage and some water ele elementals. The water elementals so strong against... Oh, Coil on the... Coil Nova on the Archmage, he's going to die, he has no way to out of there. He's dead, and Lucifer is back in this game. Let's... Uh, He's losing everything here to the human units because everything is trapped here. There goes the fiend, the lich, taking a lot of damage as well. But he gets out. Lich gets out. This other fiend also gets out, just barely. Uh, well, actually, it doesn't go out, get out. So he lost two fiends there for the archmage, and sure, XP wise, it's very good for Lucifer. But gold wise, remember we have double the income here for uh, Chamiko. And besides, a hero is much cheaper. Level 2? Level 3 hero? What was it? Level 3, right? Okay, that's about the price of a fiend, I believe. Let's see. Level 2 is 210. I forgot level 3 is a bit more. 250 gold. And there's a shredder out. This tower is gonna be up. But maybe, maybe he still can make a comeback with the destroyers. There's one slaughterhouse. Let's see. 28 against 27. I guess Lucifer... Um, yeah, killing the Archmage was so important. There's a few ghouls there, but kill some peasants, some footmen. And uh, now we see some Lucifer creeping. We will get level 4 Death Knight, level 2 Lich, before the Archmage is even back out. And uh, what hero is gonna get third? Like. So there's two choices here in this matchup. One is uh, Dark Ranger, one is Panda. I think... I think... Uh, so if you go Panda, you can kill flying machines, right? Your destroyers usually won't lose to the flying machines because your Panda will kill them. If you, kill, if you go Dark Ranger, it's uh, better against the human heroes, though. He's getting a one gargoyle. More statues. So I think it is, I, I'm not sure, maybe uh, some of you in that players know when to go Dark Ranger and when to go... Oh, that's why he's getting the Gargoyle. I, I'm not paying enough attention, but Lucifer is paying attention, of course. 
He knows about the Zeppelin. Maybe he didn't even see it, but he just knows it's this map. Human players always do this. That's what I was talking about. Maybe if uh, if you think you can end the game early, you get a Dark Ranger. And if you don't think you can end the game early, you get a Panda. Is that what, is that it? Because late game with a Dark Ranger. Ooh! <laughs> Drops the Arc and the Water Mantle on the uh, island. Late game, if you, if you have a Dark Ranger and no Panda, you just can't win against human, it feels like. Like the, the flying machines counter all your air units. And if, if that doesn't get any air units, how are they gonna beat human late game? A player's forces are under attack. This fur keeping over there. So let's see, we have uh, 40 supply against 40. One gargoyle out. Chamiko at a nice 187 uh, APM. Lucifer almost double that. Scargo. Oh, can he kill him? Two water elementals and the Archmage. Not enough. 16 hit points still left. Two slaughterhouses are up. One is, uh, or the second one is almost up. In fact, can he still cancel it there? Nah, no way, right? But it will, he will do a little bit of damage to it. Uh, the destroyer okay, is almost down. He's going for the meat wagons, of course, because his destroyer first would be way too late. There's a coil on the gargoyle. He's going for the zeppelin. He will definitely get it. Do we have a TP or anything on the arc base? Of course we do. He's not going to make the same mistake again. We have a level 3 uh, lich now, though. But no orb yet. He's at the uh, black citadel. He could buy it. But he's too busy now killing footmen and water elementals. All the, everything has been killed. Only the arc base survives. He was hunting down a gargoyle. He could buy it, buy it right now. There, he buys the orb, gives it to the lich, gives a gloss of haste to the lich as well. Perfect, and has a meat wagon out. Let's see, and is building a second meat wagon. He has two statues, but maybe he wants one more to form into uh, to form one of the statues into the destroyer. How much supply does he have? 49. Okay, what is Chamiko doing in the meantime? He's creeping over here, he got a Mount King second, meaning he's finally at keep. Let's see, he's getting flying machines, but there's no destroyers. He's getting a pallet and he's actually already at castle and he's getting knights. Okay, the flying machines, knights. And here we have the gunpowder upgrade for the flying machines. So I guess destroyers, not a single, uh, maybe shouldn't get a single destroyer. Because the flying machines are just too strong against them. There's a meat wagon fighting by himself. Uh, is he getting the ground attack upgrade just to snipe those uh, meat wagons? Doesn't look like it. Chimiko back to 48 supply as well. Here comes uh, Lucifer. Two meat wagons. Does he get disease cloud? There it is, disease cloud. Uh, no upgrades on his fiends. They're zero, 0 The flying machines are 0 and 1. So I assume the knights as well, right? I don't think he has an attack upgrade on the knights. I don't see a single knight. Where is he? There he is. Oh, one. Oh, what's this? Ring of protection. Uh, the shop went down already. Three meat wagons and a paladin for the opponent. Lucy will get wrecked. Well, not yet, I guess. Well, there are the militia. And two more knights. He, I don't know. I would have uh, like. Oh, I'm not sure if he could have waited for two more knights. Because three meat wagons take care of the town hall so fast. The water on metal going down. Even though there's no, uh, no destroyer. Coil on this fiend. Once those other two knights show up, it's definitely gonna be uh, easy for Taimiko to win this fight. There's a Stormwald and a Coil saving that fiend. Uh, Paladin being nuked gives them the healing potion. They also still have the Staff of Sanctuary here on the Archmage. There's another Stormwald on this uh, fiend. Eats another Coil. And uh, this fiend over here takes some damage as well. Staffs out the Paladin, and there's Mount King, uh, Stormbolding, another Fiend, that Fiend died, finally. And there are the other two Knights, with three Knights and uh, the, the heroes. Lucifer doesn't stand a chance. Lucifer doesn't have a third hero yet, by the way. What is he getting? Abominations, he went over 50 supply, 57 supply. Level 4 and level 3. Here we have level 4 and level 1, and level 1, I believe. <laughs> Lucy has no real army. He has meat wagons. What are you talking about? Those are... Okay. Those are not... 
not much in the fight, especially not against knights, which just naturally dodge all the attacks of the meat wagon just by running around on their little horses. Uh, the Mother King being nuked and starts out. Where are the flying machines, by the way? Over here. Maybe you sp should spread them out so he has better vision. Right? There's one knight here. Maybe he shouldn't fight by himself, but he's trying. Uh, blocking with the meat wagons, but the knight does get out. As you can see, these uh, flying machines are completely useless until there's gonna be uh, some destroyers. Is there web? Oh, there's the Dark Ranger, by the way. There is a web. Okay. So he's either not planning to go oh, uh, destroyers at all. Actually, that's probably it. He's probably just not <laughs> going for the Sentry Ward with the flying machines. They do have the ground attack upgrade now. Banshee's last hype. Ultimate hope. Well, he's not getting the Banshee building. Of course, one uh, advantage of having three meat wagons is that they do a lot of damage to the building. So, if you get a few seconds, you can kill a town hall. By the way, zero uh, armor upgrades, zero masonry upgrades. But there's a TP for Shamiko. While uh, Lucy is just creeping. He wants. Maybe the heroes can still win the game, by the way. Level 5. Imagine level 5. Coil, uh, level 5 Death Knight, I mean. He, he kill, tries to kill the Mountain King, but he has the Ankh. And he does get, uh, use the Ankh there. The uh, Death Knight is almost level 5 still. These uh, flying machines going for the mid wagons. One Knight survives. He should get stopped out, but he killed something. The Fiend gets a coil, he survives this night, taking a lot of damage. We have a Shredder helping in this fight as well. Dark Ranger taking a lot of damage. We have a, a coil on the Dark Ranger. Where is the Lich, by the way? Here he is. Uh, another Fiend goes down. Six, 42 against 68 supply. A big supply advantage now for Chimiko. And these flying machines now killing the uh, the statues. And they uh, there's just no counter really to the flying machines or the knights or anything there. Oh, beautiful timing on the coil. Just a microsecond later and the Lich would have been dead. But it doesn't matter, I think. This game has to be GG. Lich dies. There it is. GG. So the winner of this, I think, will play against the loser we just saw, who was uh, Lucifer. I think Chamiko is definitely qualified now for the next round. And here we have a Knight of Mirror. On this map, it usually starts off as a mirror here where they both creep this with their Ancient of War. They both sell their item by a circlet. Oh, right, they have exactly the same items. What is this, by the way? <laughs> what is this? The Ancient of War in the base of uh, of Enchant. Xiang uh, placed it there. And it did go up. He didn't cancel it, in fact. But it will go down. 25 XP here for the Demon Hunter, but meanwhile this Demon Hunter... Wait, what? How is he behind in XP? Did, uh, did this guy kill maybe a creep? Because... He's behind in XP. Yang is behind in XP. Doesn't make sense. Say the score. I mean, I tried everything, man. I, uh, I even tried that, like, just score, question mark. I mean, I don't think that they, I don't think it's that they don't understand. I think it's just that they, no one knows the score. They don't they keep track of it. Of course, uh, they don't have to. There's no reason for normal people to keep track. So then maybe they aren't sure about the score. Four arches there for um, Younger. What about uh, what about enchant? He's getting another archer here. He has also four archers, but he's uh, up in supply. Oh. Well, here we're building a fifth archer, right? Right. Where's that other archer? Or am I? Can I just not count? Maybe I just can't count. And this is the fourth archer. <laughs> and now he's building a fifth archer. Well, here we see f four archers in total. Where is that fourth archer? Here she is. However, uh, wait. we do have two more wisps for uh, which player? For the blue player? For uh, enchant? He's trying to kill this archer. 
Archer does heal up. She's uh, healed up. Level 3 Demon Hunter against level 2. We have Boots here on the on both Demon Hunters. We have Gloss of Haste here for Younger, but he's a level behind. Mass Archer is the new meta in Mirror. Sometimes it is. And sometimes you see one player go Mass Archer and the other player trying to, to attack. Sometimes you see Priestess of the Moon with Mass Glaive Throwers against the Priestess of the Moon and gla Mass Glaive Throwers. There's a nice mana burn, 68. Both Demon Hunters pretty much out of mana. Ancient Wonders is almost up. Uh, where are the Nagas? Where are the Keepers? Okay, there's a Keeper. And here we see Naga. So Keeper is usually only better than the Naga in a bare mirror. So I think by by the, getting a Keeper, he is expecting a bare mirror. No, wait. But he's not even. he doesn't even have a Hunter's Hole. Maybe I should uh, take that back. Maybe the Keeper is also better in other situations than the Naga. Let's see, we do see bears here for uh, the Lyot. He's also getting Ultra Vision. Taco flavored Easy second sub of the day. Thanks for the sub. Tainted Scar. Taco flavored Keezy's to you. Uh, I appreciate the support. Let's see, let me give you some taco flavored keys here in the chat. What is it? Oh, dang, that's car. There, you got some taco flavored keys. Taco. You sound like Grubby? Well, it's uh, because I'm from the same country as Grubby. This uh, archer in the back, take a lot of damage. Kenny, who got it? Uh, the item, especially uh, the item, went to uh, purple to uh, younger. I think the XP as well. The demon hunter has a TP out. He went ver down very low, but uh, it does seem like we saw two youngest archers die there. But he got the the XP and the item. Right here we see these two archers. Here we see the big ogre. Just looking at this, you can. It's a summarization of the last fight there. Clock of Flames. Let's see, he is going Ancient of Winds, so we need to counter that with Mountain Giants, of course. Maybe like one or two bears, but that's about it. Time for sub only mode. Well, it looks like my chat is already sub only mode. Look at the last nine, no, eight messages. Those have all been subs or, or me, I guess. Sub hi, boo. Taco, taco. A uh, book of the dead. Book of the dead is, of course, not the best item, but sometimes it's the best item. Let's see what we get here: healing words, healing words. So, book of the dead, you often uh, you often keep in this matchup because you can use the book of the dead when there's no wisps around. And remember, there's no dryads now in this uh, for per for Yanga. No dryads. Oh, let me turn off the bed for more. So he has to dispel them with the wisp. And if there's no wisp around, Book of the Dead is going to uh, do a lot. Look, there's some wisp over there, over here, and that's it. The skeleton archers do a lot of damage against the druids of the Talon. The warrior ar uh, warrior uh, skeletons do a lot of damage to the archers. But he now is bringing a wisp because, of course, he knows on this map there's a chance that your opponent does have Book of the Dead. Maybe that's why he brings the wisp. Besides, the Wisp is uh, still useful in other cases. He got the Kosnaga third instead of uh, Tinker. We often see Tinker third in, with this strategy. Uh, nice and tangle here on the Demon Hunter. Can he kill the Demon Hunter? He has nothing. Where's the Naga? Naga doesn't even have doesn't even have staff. So the Demon Hunter went down. Naga, by the way, moving so fast. Legion Doomhorn and the Boots of Speed. <laughs> Look how fast she slithers. She's like a snake with uh, using boost in slither. And there goes another archer, but now uh, he has to wait for his demon hunter to get back. Oh, he buys him back from the altar. Level 4 Shadow Song. And this archer is dead. What's he level 4? He does have a level up over this demon hunter. And the Naga. Oh, wait, there's a keeper, of course. The, the other heroes also higher levels here for, uh, for Enchant.
mana burn or mana, uh, mana burn. 10 mana. Uh, this wisp, he kills the wisp, now we can use the book of the dead. We also have the uh, healing ward here used by the way for Yanga. I think it was about to use it, uh, there it is. Uses the book of the dead and TP out here by uh, Yang, uh, Yanga, yeah. Because he cannot fight that book of the dead. Uh, Naga was being uh, focused, but she survives. I don't see, okay, he's getting the mountain giant upgrade. He skips bears completely, which is fine, but that means he's lacking healing, of course. Lacking rejuvenation. Uh, also no roar. But, I don't know, I said like one or two bears earlier, but I'm not sure if that's even worth it. Because you need to get the adapt upgrade, the master upgrade, just for one, of, one or two bears. He does have the legion doomhorn, which will help him a lot. Now that he doesn't go bears, he will regenerate. Look at the Naga regenerating, look at the Demon Hunter regenerating, compare the two, uh, well, right now it's not fair to compare because they're healing ward. Demon Hunter level 4, Naga level 2, Rope of the Magi, pretty good. Keeper almost level 3. Um, Thorns Aura, by the way, does it work against Mountain Giants with the tree in their hand? I don't know, that's something I don't even know. I know it works, of course, against mountain giants without trees in their hand, but once they pick up a tree, do they still get hit by Thorns Aura? Naga on roids. This one. Oh yeah, because of the movement speed. So, do you use to train or practice any sports in the past? Like a long, long time ago. Pretty much uh, before I was even 10 years old. I've done some sports, not really uh, that serious. I've done one year of hockey, not ice hockey, <laughs> just the one on grass. I've done one year of karate, karate, uh, and I've done like three years of uh, piano, which isn't really a sport, but I hated it, piano at least, so I wasn't very good at it. And that's it. We have some more creeping going on. So we have a bunch of Druids of the Talent. They are master. The keeper is level 3. He picked level 1 thorns, level 2 entangling roots. Makes sense. Since uh, there's hardly any melee damage here. Besides the mana giant and the demon hunter. Demon hunter does a lot of damage though. With thorns aura he's gonna hit, him, hit himself in the face a lot. The drives are 0-0. Zero, zero, no upgrades. What about... Well, he only has like three archers. There's no reason to get more upgrades for these archers. This uh, sheep goes down. Here's Mr. Mountain Giant, though. He's in a defensive position. There's no way he can attack here, Yanga. Yanga is building an expansion over here on the right side of the map. There's uh, hardly any creeps left. We have uh, this creep camp. We have this creep camp. We have uh, two creeps or so left. No, one creep left over there. Do we have something over here? Yeah, this creep camp. These murlocs. And I think the same at the other side. Uh, oh, these murlocs have been corrupt. So yeah, that's uh, three orange, like one green. Yeah, I need some Ancient of Wars. That would be amazing. Ancient of Wars. I'm a big fan of Ancient of Wars. If I was playing a Night Elf, if I was playing this game, I would never go for 50 supply at Night Elf. I would buy orbs and I would buy Ancient of Wars. Uh, of course, at most one orb uh, hero. Uh, although the Naga doesn't work very well with the orb. And then Ancient of Wars, they're just so strong. They, they don't cost any supply. Okay, he did get the trees. So I wonder if uh, Thorns Aura is gonna be effective here. Is it a melee, melee attack? I think it's a melee attack, but it has a range of 250. So I'm not sure if it counts as a melee attack. The same uh, question I have, of course, with Vampiric Aura, does it work? I mean, it doesn't make sense that, you know, if you hit with a tree, Vampiric Aura will give you life back. But on the other hand, it also doesn't make sense, well, maybe Flute of Accuracy should probably uh, give them uh, more damage, because you have to be accurate with your tree. A town is it's melee attacked. 
She's type like riders. Raiders, you mean? Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not worried about the type of attack. I. It has a range of 250. You see that? Ra it says range 250. That's why I'm a bit confused. I think you're right. I think you're right. I think it counts as a melee attack. I mean, actually, we. I uh, will we'll see. There's some nice cyclones. Uh, it's hard to see. Uh, they're being cycloned. Uh, let's see, did he do damage to himself? Come on, 573. I think so, yeah. I think he did damage to himself. Uh, the mounted giants here in the front. Demon Hunter uh, take a lot of damage here. Also, this uh, this guy does go down. Look at these mounted giants with the trees. It's so nice to see them attacking. And uh, TP out here for Yanga because he cannot find mounted giants. They're just too strong. They kill another uh, another guy over there. And there was the last healing ward there for Yanga. We have expansion now for uh, for enchant as well. There's a there's your ancient of war. Demon under almost level five. Naga level four. Over here on the other side, Demon Hunter level 4, level 3 Keeper, level 2 Naga. A town is under siege. A town is under siege. Time for chimps, ultimate counter. Kappa, Kipo. I mean the counter to, uh, to what? <laughs> I don't think either army is weak against chimps. That's probably why you added the Kipo. We have so many Mountain Giants. Five Mountain Giants. Right? Or four. Actually, I only count four now. Four Mountain Giants. These two, they're just fighting without the army, but it's fine. Keeper, uh, maybe you should have picked level 2 Thorns Aura, so you can kill those Mountain Giants a bit faster. There's a nice mana burn here on the Naga, and, uh, well, some more Cyclones. This, this Mountain Giant does have a tree in his hand, so he should be killing the Archers maybe with the first top Berserker. Meanwhile, another TP out here for Yanga. The Mountain Giants are just too overwhelming, and uh, the Giants, of course, cannot be Cyclones. They can pick off the Dudes of the Talon. Both players do have an expansion up. This one's almost up here for uh, Enchant, but Youngest Expansion hasn't been up for too long. Well, actually, he already mined about 1000 out of it, over 900 right now. Picking up more trees. Looks like the trees that are in their hands are almost taller than the trees that are standing over here. It's because, of course, the root of the tree is all the way in the ground. This one uh, doesn't have a tree in his hand. Mana burn on mana burn. And a beautiful taunt. You guys saw that? That was a taunt. There's a cyclone on the demon under this uh, dry takes some damage. We have a bunch of the flying things, how do you call them again? Fairy dragons, which are the counter, of course, to dryads. Uh, they do a lot of damage to the dryads. Dryads do a lot of damage back, but... But, uh, fairy dragons only two supply. Well, they are about as strong as a three supply dryad. Uh, they take a lot of damage, one more dryad, one dryad went down there. The mountain giant is so slow in the back here. They're trying to catch up, but they're just too slow. Uh, we have Angel Ward defending here. The... Uh, Anti-magic shell here on the Naga. Another Dryad going down there. 40 mana mana burn. And these Mountain Giants still trying to catch up with Ains of War as well. Is uh, now too slow to get back there in defensive position. We have more uh, Ancients here defending like the Tree of Eternity. Which does a lot of damage against the Demon Hunter. Just, just trying to go for the Naga. There's another mana burn. The Dryad is going down as well. All the Dryads besides one have been, and two, uh, have been killed. And there's a TP out here for Yanga. And these uh, Mountain Giants doing some damage now, and these units are not even TPing. They are going down, and they are dead. 
So I'm not sure we won that fight because these bounty giants, they did kill a few units here and there in the back over here. I think uh, maybe some over here. No, I don't see any bodies over here. They were all... Yeah. Okay, only over here. He killed the Druid of Thailand, two Druids of Thailand, a Berserker. Three Druids of Thailand and a Berserker, but he lost how many drives? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six drives. Okay, there's another Druid of the Thailand though. Not sure if he killed any fairy dragons. They don't leave bodies behind, but I see a lot of fairy dragons, so I assume they all survived. And the fairy dragon is now going for the Naga. Okay, that's not a great target. Kill the drives, I'd say. But, uh, the fairy dragons take a lot of damage. There's a TP out for someone. I don't know who's team. Uh, that was Yanga, of course. Yanga TPs out. It's fairy dragons. It seems they're not strong enough. They're 0 0. Well, the drives are 0 and 1. First to get level 6 demon under wins. Well, of course we have Tri Hero for uh, Yanga, so he won't get level 6 demon under as fast as Enchant. There's a piggy sitting over here. Level 5 Shadow Song, Lady Dark Skill, Shadow Stalker, Vena Seastor, and Okma. So, uh, interesting game so far. He's getting Nature's Blessing. Do we have Nature's Blessing over here? No, not yet. He will probably get it at some point in the Brutus Tree. But it seems Younger just cannot fight. He has been TPing out every fight. He cannot uh, fight a fight long term because of the mountain giants, they just too much value. They don't do a lot of damage in the short term, but in the long term, in long fight, they will uh, win the fight. There goes a Dryad, uh, Info Potion used on the Naga, this uh, this Dryad going down as well. Well, these mountain giants killing the units here in the back, but you don't use your trees against the archers. You use your hands against the archers, you use your trees against Druids of the Talon. This Naga taking a lot of damage, but remember she has ultimate uh, movement speed. So she does survive, easy peasy, this uh, demon hunter just killed a, well, no, face shifted a fairy dragon out of the fight, but he came back already, of course, because that's what face shift does, this drive, take a lot of damage, does go down, we only have uh, four drives left, but all the mountain giant is still at full health, this mountain giant, what is he going to do, he's out of the fight, he's uh, sick and tired of fighting, of course, mountain giants, they don't like to fight, look how happy and, and innocent they look, <laughs> they don't want to fight. They just want to be happy and, you know, play with the trees. Almost level 6, by the way. Just need 15 more XP for level 6. 71 supply against 51. And uh, Mountain Giant is just too strong. Too strong. Fairy Giant is not strong enough to counter the Mountain Giants. Nice mana burn on this demon hunter, so he cannot get mana burn back, meaning if he gets level 6, he will be able to use the ultimate here on this demon hunter. He just needs one kill, there's a kill, where's that ultimate? The Naga, by the way, takes some damage, he does have a TP, so maybe he doesn't use the ultimate because he has about to TP out, and that's exactly what happened there. This, uh, Yanga now down to 45 supply, at least it's under 50 supply, so that's a higher income, but there it is. GG, PCG, PCG in the green. And in the blue we have Heisei. Heisei doing pretty well actually. Let's see, let's look at his group. Although, well, yeah, I I don't think Lin showed up. Probably Sawin and, well, I don't know, Sawin and Yunko already qualified. Are they, are these players fighting for the last qualification uh, spot? Maybe. It's very likely that the winner of this will be the third player to qualify, probably uh, along with Sawin and uh, Yumiko. Uh, we have expansion by the way for Heisei being under attack. Meanwhile Heisei going for the main here, he's gonna kill this uh, Black Citadel, doing a lot of damage. And uh, he's not gonna get, uh, kill it because the TP home, but the expansion does stay up as well. 
This pocket factory will take some damage. Okay, let me close this for a second. They didn't answer me. We have double Temple of the Damned here, by the way. For a lot of Banshees, Master Banshees. Of course, if you can, uh, if you can possess some Raiders, you can really counter this uh, hit and run cell. Instead, you can do it yourself as in that with your own raiders. Uh, I don't remember if you get pillage if you possess a raider. I think so, right? There's a nice false armor on this first soul trapper. PCG 130 against 120 with a lame strat as orc. Well, maybe that's uh, what he's good at. And maybe that's why he went mass banshees. So if he can get these raiders, possession on these raiders, he's really good apparently with those lame strats. He can win the game. What do we have over here? Tinker. He does have the staff, he can easily staff out here. He's gonna hide, but watch out for the creeps. Oh, he's gonna walk. What is he doing? He's gonna creep this by himself? Tinker. Oh, the creep wake up. Oh no, run little Tinker. Meanwhile, these uh these guys that just are able to reach uh, peon line, so they can do some damage to the peons. Lich is level 3, the death knight level 3. TC level 2, Shannon level 2, blade master level 3. Two claws of attack and a claws of haste. Skeletons or three skeletons. These uh, did it kill any peons? Not yet. These peons are too sturdy. Or maybe maybe they don't reach it actually. Or not completely. They just barely. I don't know. It seems they don't reach it. Did he put a peon in the burrow? Oh, that's probably why. With the with the peon in the burrow, these goblin clockwork goblins don't reach the peon line. We have uh, 60 supply against 79. We still have a chance here for uh, for PCG though. Even though he's so far behind in supply. Wyverns are just... Uh, they're 4 supply each, but they're actually very easy to kill. Banshees can always possess if they don't get killed. We have a Kodo as well. If you can get a possess on the Kodo, PCG definitely has a really good chance here. But this Banshee is she's under attack. She's going down very fast there. And there's a beautiful stomp hitting a few units, but it's only level one stomp. Uh, some of the Wyvern get uh ensnared or in the webbed, I mean. Uh, the Banshee's going for the for the for the possess on the raiders. Three raiders going to be possessed. Oh he TP'd out, saving most of his raiders. Only one got possessed there. That was a nice uh, quick TP out there. He needed to he needed to TP out there or kill those banshees, of course. Or stop! Oh, but we have a Kodo. Imagine if uh, if he finds his Kodo, there would be an easy possess, and that Kodo to PCG's army would add so much damage. Twenty percent damage, of course, to entire uh, PCG's army. Also, there's no Kodo at the moment here with uh, Heisei's army. But he doesn't find the Kodo. This is so lucky here for Heisei. Man, if he got a possess on this Kodo, PCG would win this game for sure. Are under Imagine that Kodo with the Lich. Town is under siege. Did kill Kodo, not possess? No, of course you need to possess it. The, the aura, man. The aura is just so good for the Kodo. If you can get that aura, and you often can. I mean, you often can possess the Kodo. However, in this case, you probably need, first need to kill the Wyvern. Don't think it's smart to possess while the Wyvern is are still alive, but maybe Aces Micro isn't good enough anyway, so you can't go for it. He's going for the Banshees, gets one, two Banshees very fast. Now the Wyvern are in the front though, do we have enough Fiends to kill them? Uh, maybe a few banshees do go down. Wyvern gets a coil. There's a Kodo uses speed scroll, but uh, didn't eat anything. The banshees are all dead besides one. He tried to possess 
But of course, that wasn't very uh, nice. He's a forest little trapper. Where? What? Forest little trapper? Isn't that a creep? How? What? When did he eat this? Uh, okay, he ate a forest little trapper that somehow got uh, in, mixed up in his fight. Two fiends dying there at the same time. What a beautiful sight. This raider, by the way, uh, going down as well. We only have uh, the heroes left pretty much here for uh, PCG. Not going to be good enough. He TP's out. This is one more fiend and he's out. And I'm still confused about this forest little trapper. It's, it's not... Uh, or maybe... Okay, maybe... Yeah, yeah, yeah. PCG must have possessed it. PCG must have possessed a forest little trapper, so he had a snare. That's it, probably. Well, not probably. For sure, that's it. There it is, GG. But apparently this uh, Enchanted First Young is not over yet. <laughs> liar, baby rage. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just a liar. I cannot... It's just who I am. I'm just... There's a detonate. So Yang here in the purple again. And in the blue we have Enchant again. Let's see if they're gonna play the same. Oh, look at this Demon Hunter! Double Slippers of Agility and a Circlet. What about this Demon Hunter? A Circlet, a Slippers and a Claws of Attack. So he does have a Slippers less, but he got a Claws of Attack more. Which is uh, kind of similar. I still have not compared these items. I wanted to do that then. Uh, I wanted to test it out sometime, but I'm just too lazy. I want to see if a slippers is better or worse than a clause of attack. Probably. I have no idea. Probably the clause of attack is still slightly better. That's what my intuition tells me, but it's very close. Very close. Right? Because the slippers also gives plus 3 damage. So the Claws of Attack does 3 more damage. But the slippers adds 6% uh, attack speed. Adds a few armor points. 0 0.9 to be exact. And uh, yeah, that's it. The 6%, uh, 6 is that more than 3 damage? Well, we can calculate that. At the moment he does 78. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. At the moment he does... 39, 47 damage. So what's six percent? It's about three damage. A bit less actually, but at higher levels, the slippers I guess get better, better than the claws. At lower levels, the claws are better. But he also has the armor. So I think already at level three, the slippers are better than the claws of attack. We had a little bit of interaction, but it was a very short interaction. Both players did pick the Naga. Do we have Hunter's Halls and Ancient Lords? We have an Age of Lore here for Yange and the shop and he's getting a second Age of Lore. Of course he has night vision. What about, oh by the way we can just do this. What about, oh what about, no this is Yange. This is not Yange, this is uh, Enchant. Enchant is going Age of Lores. Yange is going Age of Wind. It's the same as last game, right? Definitely the same. But, is he gonna lose again? Is Yange gonna lose again? Last game he lost with this. Last game he didn't have a Naga though, he had a Keeper last game. What about this, Bible Thumb? What about you? What about you? Of course it does go down. Over two Naga. What item did he get? Belt of Giant Strength, that's a shitty item. What item did we get over here? Uh, Sobe Mask, that's a bit better. And then Bunny. Bunny over there, Sheepy over there. Tree of Eternity. Just getting more Dryads, more Dryads, more Dryads. Last game he didn't go a single bear at all and that worked perfectly, so I like that again. Just don't go bears, man. That's the perfect strategy against use of Talon. Build some Dryads, get their Dispel, then go into Bears. <laughs> it's an MJ song. Oh. Oh yeah, it's an MJ song. I actually realized that. He could disp he doesn't have Dispel yet.
Hero levels are pretty similar. These come for dudes of the Talon. Demon Hunters are pretty similar. Let's see, we have plus 8 agility, 36 agility for this one. 36 agility, so exactly the same agility. 37 now, he just got a tome of agility. So he's a hat agility right now. Also has more hit points, I believe. 825, this one has 975. This one does plus 13 damage, this one plus 8. So it does look like the Demon Hunter a bit stronger now for uh, Yanga. Even though he only got one slippers of agility, the dual circlet and the close up attack just better at the moment. As for Nagas, also the Naga here I think is a bit better. The items are better. Oh no, the, uh, I mean this the other way around of course. Items are better for um, Enchant than Yanga for the Naga. For sure. Creative healing, not bad though. Do we have a deck here? Oh, this this birdie taking a lot of damage. Doing some moon juice. We see a keeper third. Keeper third here for Yanga. His shop will survive apparently. Because here comes the uh, defense force. Archers drives against Archers and Dudes of the Talon. This archer taking a lot of damage, he's going to die for sure. We do not have staff. Do we have staff here for Yanga? No staff for Yanga either. He's getting master. Where are the mountain giants? He's getting the upgrades. We will get mountain giants soon. Mountain giants are so strong. He's almost at level 4 and level 3. What do we have here? We almost have level 4 and level 3. Very close in uh, XP. Third hero doesn't seem worth it. I know you just think about one thing. You just think about the level 6 Demon Hunter. In that case, maybe the second hero is not even worth it. Just go solo uh, Demon Hunter. You will get your level 6. I mean... I think... Uh, I'm not sure. He does get a third hero. He's younger after all. Oftentimes it is worth it, but even if he's just level 1. In this matchup, however, uh, we don't see it very often, a third hero. So most people uh, probably don't think it's worth it. Just a keeper with an orb. If you, if you stay under 50 supply for some time, get an orb on your demon hunter as well. It's, uh, I, I think it's probably worth it, especially with Druids of the Talon. It must be worth it, actually, because every time we see people play Druids of the Talon, we see Tri Hero. However, we usually don't see these heroes. Usually we see Tinker third, but that's because usually uh, the reaction are bears. We see bears, and this uh, enchant is just so good, he just gives the bears, he goes Mountain Giants. Do you want Tinkers against Mountain Giants? Probably not. Okay, this expansion is going to be cancelled. How many mountain giants do we have? One? I can count to one. Beautiful mana burns there. One for 36, one for 100. Here come the drives to take some damage. She, uh, she's full mana, so she can just use the moon juice. Tinker could be good. He has no tank except the Demon Hunter. Well, the, the thing is... I have no idea at all how I'm supposed to win this. Every time I see this matchup, Mountain Giants against Druids of the Talon, the Mountain Giants win. Is that because he's lacking tanks? I mean... Tanking the Mountain Giants. Is that it? I but the games I've seen with Tinker, I usually see them lose as well. I've just no, I've no idea how Dudes of the Ten are supposed to win. But we do see players play them a lot nowadays, even though they lose every game. Demon under nice mana burn on mana burn. 
one for 100, one for 57. Uh, he kills one moon well, that's nice. Uh, only one mountain giant though at this point. There goes the archer. Oh, two mountain giants of course. I can count guys, I can count. Two mountain giants, one with uh, a tree, one without a tree. One gets cyclone, one does not get cyclone. He uses a taunt. This uh, archer going down this dried as well. This one is taking the uh, druid of the tail next to the naga. This dried is being micro back here. The naga trying to kill another druid of the tail. Both of them being cyclone there. The demon hunter banner burns the naga. All the units retreating into the main base, of course, with the Tree of Eternity there. Uh, you should be careful not to step too much forward. He, he tries kind of a bad spot and TP out here because uh, he's too far, too deep into the, the base of Enchant. Enchant's expansion is almost up. Expansion here is up for Yanga, but the Tango Gold Mine not yet. He's picking up two trees. Getting more Dryads. So the thing is, let's see, you cyclone, you try to cyclone the heroes, but everything is dispelled anyway. You try to cyclone some giants, but they just get dispelled as well. Oh, this is going to be cancelled, or killed probably. It will go up, but then it will get destroyed here, unless he cancels it. There's a cancel. And that's just perfect, but he might lose his own expansion. The mountain giants do a lot of damage. They do siege damage, by the way, for guys that don't realize. Uh, when they pick up a tree, their attack changes from normal to siege damage, meaning they do uh, extra damage against rooted ancient uh, trees of life and other buildings. Not extra against ancient war, though, so that he shouldn't be attacking it. There, look how fast the tree goes down. Siege damage is pretty good in this game against buildings. There, oh, we see the dry, the fairy dragons again. Staff out on the dried and a TP out here by the Naga. Not a single dried lost her life here in this attack. Uh, however, the Wisp will go down. Same time as heroes, yes. Uh, Mountain Giants with resistant skin. Once they get Cyclone, they stay exactly the same amount. Uh, same amount of time in the air like heroes. Players forces are under attack. Same with other spells like Hex, like Stormbolt, like pretty much everything. You pretty much uh, can consider them heroes at this point. Is there still any difference? Like, don't think you can polymorph them at all, just like you can't uh, polymorph heroes. Players are under or can you polymorph them? I don't know. That's not some. That's an interaction I don't know. Demon Hunter and the Dry is killing this guy. Of course, you can't possess them, you can't eat them with Kodos. I assume you can't polymorph them. That would make a lot of sense. And uh, by the way, we. Uh, we got some more creeping going on. Cloak of Flames here for Lady Serpent Trial. Let's see what we get here. Who are who is bigger? A mountain giant or a golem? Well, it depends which golem. The mountain giant is bigger, I think, than the rock golems. Slightly bigger. Not, not so much in height. A little bit higher in height. But mostly in mass. Uh, the granite golem is still the biggest though. And there's Cloak of uh, sh what is it called? Cloak of Flames here. Is much better, of course, for young, uh, for uh, not young, for uh, for enchant than younger, because the cloak of flames will hit all these units, all the dudes of the Dalen, the archers, the berserkers, the heroes. On the other way around, cloak of flames. Did he sell it? He sold it even. Cloak of flames for younger will hit like nothing really. No, not the dryads. The mountain giants are being cyclone, so not the mountain giants. Nothing. Can you change the colors to red and blue? I'm colorblind, so purple and blue is hard to see. I don't think I can, actually. No, I'm sorry, I can't. Right? Well, actually, blue keeps blue. No. Oh. 
especially night of first night of must be uh, hard to see, hard to uh, see what's happening. Is there a bracket or grid for this? No, they don't. They didn't make a bracket or grid. What I think is going to happen is the winner of this game is going to qualify, and will play against Lucifer, who just lost against Chamico earlier. But uh, I think the winner is going to qualify for the next round regardless. But they're going to play for seeding, I, ble I believe. Against Lucifer. I think Lucifer and Chamico are already qualified as well. But I'm not 100% sure about this. Because, of course, I don't have the grid. Anyway, there were some nice Cyclones. Uh, one Dryad here taking a lot of damage. The Dryad going down. Some more Cyclones on this Bounder Giant. We have uh, 71 against 65 supply. This Bounder Giant just walking out. No problem. Doesn't take any damage really. Well, actually, do we have staff? Maybe he wants to staff out the mountain giant. Or he just saves it with the other units. That's fine as well. Yumiko for Sovine are playing. Ooh. Hopefully this game ends soon then. <laughs> Yumiko for Sovine, I think, is the winner bracket final of the other group. So I think both Yumiko and Sovine are already qualified. That they're just playing for seeding. This is the loser's bracket final, I believe, from Group C. Mountain Giants are 1-1, by the way. The Fairy Dragons are 0-0. It's another, another tree. Picks up some more trees. It's another tree. Is he trying to get all rid of all the trees? I thought he was protecting the trees. But it seems like the trees are protecting him instead. How about Lin, group D2? I think Lin just didn't show up. Did Lin just didn't play. I don't know. Maybe his, uh, maybe his hand isn't completely healed yet or something. I don't know. A town is under a forces are under attack. He did win a whole scope earlier, like two weeks ago. Keeper taking some damage. There's some nice mana burns. Uh, the mountain giant's coming in with some nice taunts, some nice attacks here with the mountain giant. 75 supply against 69. Drives all the way in the back. They're being hunted down by fairy dragons. But will they. Uh, well, look at them retreating. This looks very similar to last game, of course. Uh, where we just. Yeah, we saw exactly the same last game. But if we get a few units here in the back, they just die so easily. And uh, the Demon Hunter, does he have a staff or anything? No, he will have to well, walk all the way back, especially with the Mountain Giant. He should probably just already start walking back. He tries here in the back, taking a lot of damage. They can use the Moon Juice. They're, most of them are pretty much full mana, some of them not. The Naga here being Cyclone, maybe he can kill the Naga if he could use place the Demon Hunter over there on the right side, but no. Yes, anyway, Naga has an Invol and a Healing Potion and Anti Magic Shell, so she's not gonna die anytime soon. Some Dry taking some more damage. Uh, the Demon Hunter finally back here with the Mountain Giants. Flank, I guess you can call it flank, but I mean, it's not really flank because we all knew that was gonna happen. Um, Young, especially. This uh, Naga taking more damage, she does use the info potion. And uh, what do we have left? We have uh, 72 against 59, 57 now. Demon Hunter is fighting by himself. Mana burn in the face, gets hit by some trees, but the trees don't do much damage against the Demon Hunter. There's some more mana burns. And there's another taunt. He should mana burn the Demon Hunter himself. The other way around. There it is. By the way, we almost have a level 5. And we, we all know that level 5 means on the way to level 6. Very close to level 6. The game is going on forever. Hey, Hiromi fan. Welcome back to the stream. Sin Dweller. Naga's level 3. The keeper's almost level 3. Well, well, well. Tree of Eternity walking to... Oh, what? <laughs> this Ace of War is sitting over here. <laughs> nice emote, Pog Champ. Thanks, I made it myself. I made it myself. Ace of War whacking this Tree of Eternity a few times in the face or in the side, really. It's poking him uh, maybe in the hips. And uh, now he's going down. Like similar to Park Champ, a little bit.
I was actually, I uh, made some pictures. I was actually planning to use a different one for, uh, you know, this one for the hello, kind of the high, the waving one. But the other one didn't look so good. I was planning uh, to use this one maybe for later, for some kind of Pogchamp like emote, but you know, since the other one didn't look good with the high, I decided to just use this one with uh, the waving one instead. It looked pretty good. So. There, uh, we have another fight with the Mountain Giants, two of them in the front, the other two were in the back, which is some nice Cyclones here. Uh, the one Dryad going down very fast against these Fairy Dragons again. Fairy Dragons doing so much damage against these Dryads, they killed them so fast. Uh, so many Dryads dying so fast, while uh, the Mountain Giants doing some damage here in the background. The Naga has used her anti-magic shells, she's level 4 now, and the Demon Hunter is level 5, but he is being focused. Demon Hunter has healing potion still, and a Mana Burn down, the, the Keeper is dead. Keeper and the uh, Demon Hunter get stopped out, the Naga in a bit of trouble, but she just runs away and um, there's some nice cyclone on the mountain giant remember by the way last game there was a legion doom horn making those mountain giants so much faster this game there's no legion doom horn uh, so it's kind of a different game what you gonna buy here invis yes dust as well oh wait she's still fairy fired <laughs> she's still in fairy fired oh my god what a mistake even i didn't think about it but i would have thought about it if i was playing of course kappa um, but it's not like he had much other choice. He could have bought a TP, I think, because the info potion. Um, first of all, I'm not sure if it was available. It was available, but it's only seven seconds. Staff. If he uses staff, he gets cycloned. Uh, there was no cyclone, but he didn't know that. So apparently, staff staff would have saved him. I wonder if, uh, by the way, if uh, elegant. Could make a uh, ancient of wind and buy build some hippos. That would be a good play. Uh, good play. These mountain giants are just unkillable, man. With two of the talent with berserkers with all these piercing damage, they just take so little damage. The most damage they take are from the keeper of growth uh, thorns or uh, but the keeper of growth is not here. The uh, mountain giants just killing these heroes slowly. I mean, it's not like they do a lot of damage as well, but over time they do enough damage. Did they win a long-term fight? 55 supply against 39. These, these games last too long. I'm gonna miss Soin for Jumiko. This game is already up for like... How many minutes? 25? 20, uh, 25 minutes. Expansion up for both players. Naga is almost back. Keeper, the keeper is uh, almost back. I wonder how many fairy dragon shots it takes to kill one mountain giant. Um, we can calculate that. So resistance skin is before, right before the armor effect. It reduces the damage by 12, so Fairy Dragon only does, uh, let's say on average 15 minus 12 is 3. 3 damage against a Mountain Giant, minus 26%, minus another, what is it? 75, uh, 25%. A town is under siege. A player's force so what does it make it, like 2? So I, on average a Fairy Dragon does 2 damage to a Mountain Giant. That means uh, well, the Mountain Giant regeneration during the day is zero, of course. So during the day, it is 800 shots. During night, he has regeneration, though, meaning uh, a lot more shots because his health regeneration is maybe as much as one uh, as the attack of one fairy dragon. So it depends how many fairy dragons you have. Uh, this uh, this uh, dry takes a little bit, bit of damage. But she does survive with one hit point. Of course, she's poisoned. Uh, where is the Naga? Is the Naga back out yet? Doesn't seem like it. It's just a Demon Hunter and the Mountain Giants, but that's... Oh, there's the Naga. Naga for the save, for the rescue. Um, this uh, Berserker does go down. Do we have staff? We do have staff on the Naga. He can always staff out the Demon Hunter if he needs to. Just try taking some damage. She's dead. Still four Mountain Giants alive with plenty of hit points. Uh, 
Mount your giant kill. Uh, that's like asking number of legs to the center of the Tootsie Pop. 2.25 is the regeneration rate. So that means, uh, well, I don't know what the attack speed of a fairy dragon is. I mean, calculating that is going to be too complicated. But it's average. So maybe the, the regeneration rate is higher than one fairy dragon uh, attacking him at night. It's going to be night soon. Demon Hunter is almost level 6. That's right. Enchant almost has a level 6 Demon Hunter. Look, it's night. Yeah, I think the regeneration rate is uh, is higher than one fairy dragon attacking a mountain giant. Look how fast he regenerates. And a mountain giant is 2 damage on average in attack. 150 mana burn, 150 mana burn. This try taking a lot of damage, does go down. Where's the Naga, by the way? Anyone? No? Maybe, uh, oh, here she is. She was buying items, she was buying an info potion. Take one kaboom. There's no, well, I mean, if you wanna buy a kaboom, like a common sapper you're talking about, right? From over here. You have to buy it from over here, because if you buy it from over here, your opponent sees it. But, uh, I don't know, I think even with a sapper it would be uh, too hard to kill the Tree of Eternity. It does have 7 armor now. Nature's Blessing, of course. There was a nice mana burn on this, uh, on this uh, druid. A beautiful uh, fan, uh, how do you call it? Fort Lightning kills one druid of the Talon. He's bound to giants, doing some damage here in the back. The fairy dragons, look how many we have, by the way. Three, six, eight fairy dragons. The dryads, unfortunately, they don't have uh, the armor of the mountain giant. Oh, this guy goes down. Look at him, he's attacking and... <laughs> he's definitely regenerating faster than his fairy dragon does damage to it, especially since he's walking away as well. So, uh, yeah. He even did one damage there, by the way, with the shot. But maybe that's because uh, the moment he attacked, Mountain Giant regenerated one health at the same time. This uh, Fairy Dragon, 9 hit points. Uh, the Mountain Giant should be able to attack the Fairy Dragon when they have trees in their hand. Like, it would make sense. Like, look how low they're flying. They're flying about the same height as the tree uh, in the hands of the Mountain Giant. There's another uh, Fork Lightning, Fork Lightning back. Of course, uh, Mountain Giants take reduced damage from Fork Lightning as well. Oh, there's a level 6 Demon Hunter! And is this, uh, is he gonna fight against a level 6 Demon Hunter? Doing so much damage, uh, mostly just because he's ranged and he has uh, AoE. This Demon Hunter is being uh, hunted down with the Dried Block, beautiful Dried Block. The other one slowing him down. The Demon Hunter attacking him from range. The Naga does get an attack in with a slow arrow. Oh, beautiful taunt! And uh, he wasn't paying attention. Or not enough, at least, that he uh, woke back there for a second. And what is he going for now? The Tree of Eternity is going to fall very fast, by the way. We have uh, Siege damage, we have Chaos damage. Look at the Demon Hunter, he kills him fast. The uh, Mountain Giants kill him fast. But two of the Mountain Giants don't have trees in their hands. They should pick up some trees. Three of them, in fact. A tree has uh, how many uses again? I forgot. Uh, like 10 or so. Anyway, this Tree of Eternity is, is dead. And uh, this is, of course, why uh, why Yanga played so aggressive all game. Because he doesn't have siege damage. He cannot kill tree trees. But the moment uh, the other way happens, the other way around, the moment uh, Elegant attacks, the Tree of Eternity goes so bad, fast, uh, so down so fast. But the, 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 the Naga goes down as well. But the Mountain Giants are still up. The Keeper is taking a lot of damage. Can he kill the Keeper? The Keeper does go down. And now the Fairy Dragon is, uh, is all that he has left. Well, he still has his heroes left, but... I mean, well, the Demon Hunter, maybe he can kill the Demon Hunter, he does have a healing potion, he needs to kill the Demon Hunter, he's so far behind, losing the Tree of Eternity, and he cannot even fight his uh, units even without the Demon Hunter, like the Mountain Giants are too strong. Where did number four go, by the way? Oh, he's killing Wisp there in the background, the Demon Hunter gets Cyclone again, he's trying to run for his life, uh, meanwhile the Dryad's taking care of the Naga, and another Dryad over here, and uh, look how... He's getting all the wisp, like, that's that's what he does, like, you know, uh, when you see a little four-year-old kid uh, kill, like, ants, this is what it's like when you see a mountain giant kill uh, wisps. A player's forces are under attack. 
and the Demon Hunter is, it did reach the moment juice. Heals back up, and there it is, GG. There, gets a, gets a tome of uh, whatever. And uh, that's nice, that's nice. Create this uh, in foreground, oh, wait, what? Oh, the paint. <laughs> Okay, let me uh, put the paint under worker somewhere, so it will. Uh... There. Great. Blade Master uh, is about to kill some gnolls. Maybe the Archmage almost level two. The Blade Master steals the gnoll and he kills the pig, uh, the sheepy as well. And maybe the water elemental. Can I get the water elemental? No, the water elemental just expires. Let's see, the Archmage still level 1, Blade Master still level 1 as well. I don't think any of the Chinese answered me, but let's see if they did. Someone else also asking for the same score. But uh, that's about it. No one answered anything. What happened to Lin? I don't know, he didn't show up, that's all we know. Um... This is a best of three, by the way. It's just that we don't know the score, so let's keep it like this. Uses a dust. He's gonna creep over here, summon a water elemental, and the blade master it will find him though. The blade master finds him. Is he gonna use the second dust? No, uh, blade master already chopping him up. Does have more mana for more wind walks, and we see a retreat here by Yumiko. This this guy taking a lot of damage. The blade master can he kill the footman? The footman the. the Ogre blocking the Blade Master. Nice block by the Ogre Warrior there. But the Footman is going to die nonetheless. This Footman over here takes some damage. The Archmage is going for this creep. While this Blade Master is going for the Grunt. And that's... Uh, I mean the Footman. And that's why uh, this Footman buying so much time. Hey Chaco, how have you been? I've been doing great. This Footman over here, he's next. Or not. Maybe not. The Archmage did kill this uh, Ogre. Ring of Protection plus two. Is he got? Oh, I think the Blade Master got it. The Ogre Warrior. There's a third qualifier, yes. And I think the third one is the last one. There's only three this time. Last time there were uh, four Asian qualifiers. This time only three. Good micro by the creep. He did an amazing job. That creep. Blade Master going for the footman, but he's hiding behind the trees. This other footman realizes if this footman is hiding behind the trees, I can't hide behind the trees. Blade Master is like, get out of there. <laughs> get out of there. The the water metal is about to expire. He can do a little bit of annoyance over here, but that's about it. There he goes. The Archmage is almost level 3. He's trying to get his null, but that's not going to be enough, of course. Not that close. Oh, the Shadow Hunter helped kill the footman. Did he die? Oh, the footman died in the forest. If a footman dies in a forest, does it make a sound? I don't know. I didn't hear it, so probably not. The answer is no. Meanwhile, the Blade Master killing these gnolls. Shakazan. This footman. Oh, he's a rat. He's uh, going to die. Oh, this level 5 gnoll is still alive. He's going for the, the Shadow Hunter. We have a Mountain King. This grunt in a lot of trouble. We have more Storm Bolts soon, but. The, oh, there is a cancel on the healing self, but the grunt will survive. But uh, who is gonna get a level 5? That's a big question right now. Do we have dust? And we do have plenty of dust. Three dust available. It's gonna use one here pretty soon. There it is. Uh, okay, use the Stormbolt on the creep, not on the Blade Master, which is fine. He gets a ring of protection. Blade Master gets away. And he's going for the peasant. So greedy, this Blade Master, man. He just. Sees a peasant and wants to kill it. Uses a scroll of speed just go to just to kill the peasant. He really wants to kill the peasant and he gets it. And he's still slow. He's still speed scrolled and now he's neither. Can he? Uh, he still has plenty more mana for wind box. Meanwhile, the shadow hunter creeping over here with two grunts. Maybe in 5 million years when the human race is obliterated they find the fossil of the footman in the forest and figure out about those humans. Yeah. But unfortunately, 
It's not gonna happen because the footman is no longer there. Ooh. Maybe some animals uh, ate it. We have Senti Wards here. He placed one in the center. That's of course the best item he could have gotten there. Senti Wards means he can fit this safely, easily, no problem. Minimal Yumiko creeping over here. Healing Ward placed. He gets Healing Wards. Healing Wards are uh, not bad on this map because you have a lot of ramps. Right? You have ramps. You can often put a Healing Ward on top of the ramp. Or like over here. While you're fighting over here. Uh, it's not always possible, sometimes. But on the other hand, there's no really strong creeps on this map, which makes the healing wards a bit uh, less powerful. You can't really use it uh, for creeping, because you do just don't need it for creeps. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell is wrong with these animals? I don't even respect a dead soldier. I think they are just uh, they just want his armor. Right, animals, they can make their own shields, their own swords. Dome of Agility. And what do we get here? Vampiric Aura, not that great. At the moment, he only has a Mountain King and two footmen that are melee. The Archmage is AFK. What? Okay, Archmage is AFK. While the Mountain King is doing all the hard work. Plus four armor. Oh, Archmage is done using Facebook. It comes back into uh, into the fight, into the creeping. Shakazan is already level three. Let's see the blade master. So he has the rune bracers. He decides to keep it against human. It's uh, it's all right. I guess you can do either. You can keep it. You can sell it. Uh, the shadow hunter, not a single mana item though. Though he does get a tome of intelligence. He needed that because he has no mana. Without mana, you're not gonna beat human. You need mana on the shadow hunter. So he needs either clarities, mana potions, shops, no, shops no, here. Is it a peon? Is it a kodo? Shops in the back of the fight. He's going for the farm. Do we see a TP here? This, the Mountain King is level 3. The Archmage is almost level 4. So an uh, advantage in XP here for Yumiko. Although actually the advantage in XP is not there. It's just advantage in level. About the same XP. But both these heroes for Orc are level 3.4. Uh, I mean there's a slight advantage here for a uh, human. In XP. That's just so slight. Arkmai still has two healing wards. Claws, he has plus 15 damage. The Mountain King has two rings of protection, two info potions. Hidden footman. A player's forces are under attack. There's a Kodo as well. A war mill is up, of course, because also wouldn't be Kodo. So we went over 50 splice. It's 60. Yumiko is staying at 50. Okay, he just went over 50 as well. Gets another clause of attack. Man, this Archmage is doing plus 15 damage. This, uh, oh wait, did he get another clause of attack? I thought he already had two claws. No, he didn't, right? I think he got a second. Was the level 5 already dead? Maybe level 5 was already dead. Maybe he didn't get anything over there. The footman went down, was standing next to the sentry ward. The items for Orc are not very good. Root Bracers works, of course, very nicely against the Stormbolt. I believe it also works against the attacks, but those don't do any damage anyway. So who cares? So it's only really for uh, against Stormbolt. Well, you often do lose your Blade Master to the Stormbolt, so... I, uh, I think it's fine just to just keep it. Uh, this, uh, this Priest in the front taking a lot of damage. That's not a place to be for the Priest. Kodo's hungry. Look at them being hungry. But the Mountain King blocks him, uh, not on purpose, but the uh, Raider took a lot of damage. Water Mantle is being dispelled, this Spellbreaker taking a lot of damage, it priests on the front. That uh, Spellbreaker went down, now we have a Militia, one Raider finally dying, this Grunt in the front taking a lot of damage. Kodo eats a uh, Footman, interesting, and this is what I was talking about, Healing Ward on the high ground, but I guess it doesn't actually, uh, <laughs> it doesn't really hit um, that many units. With his healing uh, presence, his healing ward, healing uh, power. These grunts in the front though, taking a lot of damage. However, the Shadow Hunter is out of mana! But we do have two codes. The second one ate another Spellbreaker. Yumiko has a supply advantage, but some of that supply is inside of the stomach of the uh, code. The Mountain King has to use the Info Potion. Blade Master has the Info Potion still. And uh, 
Most of the front line of Orc is dead. He only has one Raider and Peons. And remember, no man on the Shadow Hunter. Maybe one mana soon for one more healing wave. Yumiko uh, does, of course, still have plenty of mana on the Archmage. And a little bit of mana on the Stormbolt. Mountain King. He places down another uh, healing ward. Uh, doesn't the, the rune bracers reduce the damage from feedback? I don't know actually. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure about rune bracers exactly. Uh, what it reduces and what it doesn't. This code does go down. The blade master. Uh, does he kill this berserker? He doesn't. He kills nothing. We have uh, three, four. Four spell breakers here, he kills another raider. There's two raiders left. I don't think uh, Soin can win this fight. He's nine supply behind, and there's a retreat. He still doesn't have much mana on the Shadow Hunter, which is uh, pretty much losing him the game here. He does have the shop here now, but pretty much pretty far. This, <laughs> this raider is going to die. Maybe he's going for the Blade Master. Stormbolt, do we have slow? We do have slow. Uh, do we have bashes? We need some bashes. Uh, he does have an info potion still, so he can always uh, he uses a mana potion, I believe, there on the Shadow Hunter and a clarity. So this is a chance where Serene might have a chance here. Serene might have a chance here with the uh, shop, of course. So his Shadow Hunter will have plenty of mana whenever he needs it. But he is behind in supply, nine supply behind the Blade Master going for this Spellbreaker. The Mountain King is kind of stuck here behind his own towers. The Kodo try, tries to drink the water elemental but misses, and the water elemental is going to expire anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This uh, tower is going down, this other one went down as well. This one is probably also going down before it goes up at the very least. Blade Master is killing this uh, Spellbreaker, taking a lot of damage. It does fall. And Shell Hunter, infinite mana of course. Clarity potions, mana potions, the shop, so good. And uh, Yumiko. He is trying to fight here. He's out of mana potion, out of clarity, but the clarity cooldown is very low. This grunt goes uh, down, uh, sources goes down as well. This uh, next sources going down, the next grunt went down as well. This, uh, this raider may be a stormbolt. Could kill it. There it is, a stormbolt, but he didn't kill it. The archmage could maybe throw some fireballs. He does have 15 damage. He did kill that raider somehow. Uh, but the Archmage, of course, does have any Invo Potion or anything, so he should be a bit careful. He loses two Berserkers. Is Soin making a comeback? Soin is only five supply behind now. This Raider taking a lot of damage. The Shadow Hunter, still plenty of mana. The Spellbreaker taking a lot of damage. And it will fall here to the Blade Master. Uh, but this Raider will fall as well. And the Shadow Hunter goes back, of course, gets more clarities. 48 against 43, there's another water metal, but the Archmage is almost level 5, but so is the Shadow Hunter and the Blade Master, which is even more important than the Archmage. There's a level 5 uh, Blade Master, level 3 Critical Strike will kill everything in matters of seconds and milliseconds even. 196 damage, but he gets bashed. Uh, there's a healing wave. Is that level 3 yet? That's level 3. And uh, I feel like Yumiko uh, cannot win this fight. He kills another Raider. Uh, there goes another Spellbreaker. Where's the level 5 Archmage? He still needs 51 XP, which is a lot. This Spellbreaker goes down as well. And uh, another Spellbreaker, 224 Critical Strike. A bash there, but the Spellbreaker does go down. And uh, this Priest is going down as well. This other Priest went down, this Priest went down. Blade Master, what's he going for? For the Archmage. I mean, you've got now suddenly 9 supply, no, what? 11 supply down. And this raider taking a lot of damage. There goes the spellbreaker. I think, uh, I wonder if Yumiko should have just gone for an expansion when he had the advantage. Because attacking into the orc shop is just suicide. It's just so difficult. It's, well, this game was literally suicide. He was literally winning. And then he attacked into the shop, and then he lost. The Archmage is almost level 5, he just needs 8 more XP. Can he, where can he get the 8 XP though? And what is he going to do with it? Retrain to Blizzard? Doesn't even uh, matter at this point. The Orc army isn't that weak against Blizzard with level 3 healing wave.
making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Wow, sober, sober lemur, lemur. Please save one pancake for me. I mean, this game is pretty much over at this point. The opposite, of course, not true. The the shop for human isn't as powerful as the shop for orc. Because like human already has the brilliance hour anyway. It's not like they lack mana. Like the way human wins is by by uh, draining all the mana for orc while still having mana yourself. Okay, the coda eats something. Of course, there's no uh, shop here for orc, but he still has plenty of mana on the on the shakazan. Uh, the militia are trying to kill a raider. There's Stormbolt. The raider does go down. The Archmage was a little animal, but then now he's back to Archmage. He summons another water elemental. It's level 3 now. Bunch of dispels. Uh, he does get the kill there. The Shadowhunter still plenty of mana. Plenty of, plenty of, plenty of mana. The militia just going to die, all of them. The Archmage trying to kill nothing. Uh, this raider, at least he kills one raider. All the militia have been killed. He only has one on gold, even, and only one peasant. There goes a priest. And uh, what's going to do that next? Maybe the Blade Master, not the Blade Master, I mean the- Oh, there's a level 6! GG. Yeah, Bracers is spell only, not magic damage. You, uh, where did you look that up? Ready to work. Did you try it yourself, or...? And what about feedback of the Spellbreaker? Upload the grid? I... I don't know how. How many players advance each group? Three of each group. So I think the advanced players are already decided. Group C, we have Chamiko, Lucifer, and, and Shant. Group D, we have Yumiko, Sawin. And uh, the winner between PCG and Heisei. I don't know who won that. Because we didn't see, uh, we only saw one game where Heisei won, but we didn't see the other games. Pretty sure it's four. I'm, it's, it's three. It's three. It's uh, three because we have uh, four groups and three times four is twelve. Also, it says so in the... Uh, right. It says three. Yeah. Top three qualify for the next stage. Sub friends, sub Chaco. Hey, I love sugar. Uh, how much does your graphic designer cost? I got a job for him making posts in reddit.com uh, slash art slash crappy design. Unfortunately, it's too expensive. It's too expensive, man. You cannot afford it. Any moon games today? Maybe after uh, after GCS. It was knowledge from Dota one day when everyone's trying to figure out what did what. But Dota one. Okay. Can find some. Com I'm not sure though if it's if it was exactly the same item in the other one. Not everything worked the same. But. The, the in-game descri description is wrong, as it does only reduce damage or spell damage, just as Stormbolt. But isn't feedback from the spellbreakers also uh, spell damage? Uh, Archmage creeps over here. We have Tyrannosaurus Rex here for Yumiko. And the Blade Master, what is his name? Frog? No, that's that's the name of the frog. The blade, name of the Blade Master is Daisho. Daisho. I don't like Daisho too much. It's it doesn't feel nice to say Daisho. It feels a bit awkward on the tongue. Second bureau is going up, so uh, not much for the Archmage to do here. Replenishment Potion was a pretty bad item. The Blade Master... Got a clause of attack, which is decent. I'm pretty sure he bought the circlet. As always, yes, of course. Very nice. Very nice. They're just running around. Uh, the Archmage, of course, tries to wants to creep something. The Blade Master wants to prevent the Archmage from creeping something. So, uh, great game so far. Finds oh, but we have boots now on the Archmage. He can outrun Mr. Blade Master. What are these footmen doing? They're all spread out. Water elemental there, footmen there, footmen there, footmen there, footmen there, footmen everywhere.
And Blade Mask is gonna creep over here. He wants to get some slippers. And he is gonna get Mount of Intelligence. That's nice as well. That's great for the Shadow Hunter later. Last game, he didn't get a single mana item for the Shadow Hunter. And he almost lost because of it. Actually, he was he pretty much lost because of it. He only won later because of Yumiko's mistake. But he uh, should have lost that game. This uh, game here already has at least one mana item there for that uh, Shadow Hunter. Archmage throws a nice fireball at the grunt. Let's see. Archmage level 2, Blade Master level 1. Can he cancel the bestiary? No, not with the blade master here defending. Does he only have one grunt? Where's his second grunt? The second grunt's over there. Does he only have two grunts? It looks like it. No third grunt. Shadow Hunter is uh, halfway done. Is this the two grunt build? It, I think so. In also last game, only did uh, two grunts. This footman under uh, under pressure. Of course, anything the blade master attacks. Although, however, he's still level one. The footman is gonna kill himself. You know, he's gonna die to the wind walk. There it is. That's a dead footman. And the Archmage still very low on level 2. I would also be curious whether to reduce the damage taken by Frost Arrow, for example. I don't think the damage from Frost Arrow uh, would be reduced because uh, that's just extra uh, damage added to the attack, I believe. I believe extra damage from Frost Arrow is reduced by uh, armor. There's a hex, hexed Archmage. A player's force. But he survives. Feedback is physical damage, but it's hard coded to not work on magic immune units. Okay. This uh this cobalt taking a lot of damage. And there he goes. Some nice sentry wards here. That's a pretty nice item. Spirit launch up. He's getting the raiders. So because he didn't get a third grunt, he only has two grunts. And uh, with two grunts, oh now he's getting the third grunt, super late. I'm not sure why he's so late. Definitely had the money for it earlier. Especially against human, right? You you need your grunts anyway. Like in a lot of different matchups, you just get the grunts early just to creep, and they're kind of like XP tomes later, like against Night Elf and against. Against Undead, pretty much. Against the Orc, they are also useful, uh, useful later game. But against uh, Human and Orc... Yeah, against Human and Orc, you keep building Grunts the entire game and they're useful. So uh, why why would you ever skip the third Grunt? The Blame has to take a lot of damage here from the Enforcers. Get Runes Bracers against, again. For against the uh, Stormbolt. We just learned that the only thing is useful against, but the Shadow Hunter is gonna survive, maybe? Oh no, we had a hex, but where's the next Stormbolt? It is still cooling down the Shadow Hunter with his scroll of speed. Maybe he survives, maybe he doesn't. It seems like it, he doesn't. With beautiful creep deck there by Yumiko. Can he kill more? He's surrounded here on this spell, Spirit Walker. Uh, the Blade Mask, by the way, still pretty low on hit points. He was still healing. The Spirit Walker is gonna die. Eventually, in like a minute or five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uses <laughs> a spear link to survive a bit longer. Uh, Archmage just got level three, and uh, without the Shadow Hunter, is the Blade Master gonna keep by himself? Yes, I mean, of course, it's not like you're gonna sit there and do nothing, but he needs to level three uh, Blade Master as well, anyway. Uh, Mana, potion of greater mana on the Mountain King. He's never gonna run out of mana, at least not anytime soon. Blade Master gets level 3, but it's gonna pick level 2, level 2, Wedwalk, level 2 crit. Shadowhunter is out, level 1. He does go for level 2 Windwalk. Especially Serene. He always, uh, he likes level 2 Windwalk over level 2 crit. In this situation, I mean, you need to creep your Shadow Hunter up to level 3. That's the most important part. But I don't think he's gonna get a level 4 Blade Master before next fight. And he should be careful. Like, there's a Sentry Ward there, so he's slowed. There's nothing he can do over here. Well, besides attack a Footman once or twice. 
for two different footmen, uh, both of them once. You see uh, Kipjak here as well, but I don't think Yumiko has suffered the same fate here. Besides, he has the TP still. He loses a bond sorcerer still, is sure. But he just moves to the back of this uh, mercenary camp. 55 supply for Yumiko, 47 here for Soin. So in killing this uh, this priest as well, uh, two kills so far. And this footman is going to die. The Kodo is going to eat. We have a flank attack with the militia. But they die so fast against the students in the back. And he's building a shop here as well. The Kodo ate the spellbreaker. I'm not sure if Yumiko kind of overcommitted here a bit. Maybe she was TP'd out. But he does kill two grunts. So I guess he's still fine. The late match is going for the the priest. Of course, the shadow hunter is still only level two. Even with the shop, it's not enough. He needs a level three. Uh, the blade match now going for this uh, spellbreaker. Can he kill it maybe before he loses his raider? Now his raider is going to die first. We have a level four archmage now. And uh, never mind, Yumiko wins this game easy peasy. There's no comeback at this point for Sabine. Even if his shadow hunter survives, uh, but the shadow hunter does die. The shop survives. GG. Can we say GG, Sabine? The GG would be nice. <laughs> Best observation I've heard in my life because he didn't get a third, he only has two runs. Thank you very much for doing it. Are under I mean, that, that was important though, so I needed to uh, I needed to point it out. I mean, so Win is still staying in the game, lose another peon, shops going down. Even if the Shadow Hunter comes back out, it's he's still level two. There's only level one healing wave. The Blade Master doesn't have level two critical strike either. There's a nice stormbolt on the raider. The Blade Master can he kill anything. The sources is gets the invis. The raider does go down. And uh, well, this footman might die. So he might kill this footman here with the Spirit of Walkers, especially they do a lot of damage against that footman. Uh, he does have Spirit Link though. Sheriff's is damaged with uh, with what? Actually, nothing else seems to have a spirit link, so I don't think it was sharing any damage. Uh, another uh, spirit walker goes down. The shadow hunters back out. It says to come back here for Suin. Let's see some critical strikes. There's one. There's only one. Okay, but he kills the spellbreaker. He needs more critical strikes to come back from this point. At this point, he needs every attack to be a critical strike. I think he needs like. 100 crits in a row if he wants to come back. Unless uh, Yumiko gives him some time. Because he needs first to get uh, kill some units, get level 4, and keep critting. Keep critting. Of course, he's gonna get storm bolted and bashed, and all that other goodness. And he needs level 3 Shadow Hunter. Well, there's a water elemental. That will give him some XP. Uh, get, get him a bit closer to level 4 and level 3. The Raider here is taking a Stormbolt to the face. He is... or he didn't. Was it just a bash? I guess he took a bash to the face. Uh, which killed him as well. The Raider went down, the Grunt goes down. Uh, the Blade Master is not critting enough. I saw one crit, but that was it out of like 4 or 5 attacks. So, so we now 20 supply behind. Let's see some crits, man. Blade Master, what are you doing? No crits! GG. I think this is going to be the better game, right? Yeah, that has to be the better game. Let's go for Lucifer versus Elegant. It is uh, definitely 1-1. One, one because we saw two games live already. It has to be 1-1. One, one. The damn stand ready. So no hope for Orc at GCS. I mean, uh, didn't Fly and Focus qualify last week? Summoning is complete. Summoning is complete. Also, we have uh, Sabine already at least in the next group. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Fly and Focus qualified already, so... I can double check. Agent Qualifier 1. 
How many qualified? The top four? Top four. Uh, fly, life, focus, and TH. Yeah, focus and fly already qualified for the GCS. So that means, of course, we won't have in the other qualifiers, we won't have any orcs left, especially if Lin keeps not showing up. Uh, so we have Serene. Actually, group A and B don't really have any orcs either. Because, of course, there's no one left. Only Shao KK. Okay, what do we have here? We have uh, in the blue, of course, Enchant. And in the yellow, of course, Lucifer. Did I say elegant? I have mixed up elegant and enchant so many times. Also, there's enchanted. I'm not sure if that's the same player as enchant. Anyone knows if that's the same player? We have a ring of protection here on the demon other. Uh, not that bad in this matchup. It's one of the matchups where I don't mind it too much. The skeleton is being hunted down. He's gone. He's trying to kill on Wisp though. The Demon Death Knight doesn't have uh, Coil, just has Unholy Aura, as we see every time here for uh, Lucifer. He plays like he always does. He sends his ghouls in, plays very aggressive with ghouls. Loses his skeleton though. Death Knight level 1, 0 XP still, fighting against a Demon Hunter with two skeletons. I guess that's uh, alright. Now the ghouls come in. What are they going for? Maybe this archer? No, they're going for the archer in the back here. But at this night, do we have dust? Of course we have dust. What am I asking here? I'm asking if we have dust. Well, this archer is being hunted down. What do we have over here? Here's the Ancient of War, but only one Ancient of War. This archer, uh, this, uh, this ghoul taking a lot of damage, but so does this archer. She's at three, four, hit five, four, five hit points now. And the other archer saves her with a nice block. This archer taking a lot of damage here in the back. The demon hunter going for this ghoul, but the ghoul gets in uh, range of the Unholy Aura, so he can walk home safely. Unless an archer will find him somewhere. Uh, the ghoul's going for this next archer. Archer is still fine. Still fine. We have a ghoul fighting and a demon hunter here. That's not the fight you want to fight as a ghoul. But the death knight with the other ghouls trying to hunt down more archers. A not a single unit died so far for either player. Not a single archer or a ghoul. This ghoul might fall. This archer might fall. This ghoul could block the archer there. There's a nice block. The archer, she's going to kill herself. Yes. I mean, she wasn't planning to. She wanted to hide there. After uh, aggroing the creeps. But that didn't work out. So one archer kills so far. This archer takes some damage. He didn't get XP though. So sure, he got one kill. But no XP. Well, the Demon Hunter got no kills, but he got the XP's from the Skeletons. Emo Archer. Feels bad, man. The uh, Demon Hunter with the boost of speed doing some, taking some slices out of the Death Knight. Out of his horse. And uh, do we have Tier 2 yet? Almost, maybe? Perhaps? Maybe, yeah, almost. He's getting Hunter's Hall up, of course, as well. And we do have Tier 2 for Lucifer. There's the Naga. Maybe he can do some more damage. The Death Knight is still at uh, level 1. We have, by the way, Evasion first. So he cannot mana burn even the Naga. I mean, the Death Knight doesn't need uh, mana burn. He, he has no coil anyway. So he do doesn't have any need for uh, mana. Uh, but now the Demon Hunter is under attack from the Naga. 5 ghouls and a Naga and a Death Knight. Let me just uh, close this for a second. There. A player's forces are under attack. There's one more ghoul over here. Can he uh, do some damage? Oh, we have the Naga second now. For uh, Enchant as well. Isn't this unusual nowadays in that rather level Death Knight rather than ghoul pressure? Uh, I think you're right, but Lucifer always plays like this. Especially on this map. It's also what you said. But <laughs> especially Lucifer on this map plays aggressive. Naga still level 1, Death Knight as well. Four archers still alive. And what is Lucifer doing in the meantime? He's going to Black Citadel, getting Slaughterhouse. 
Has some more ghouls back at home. Oh, maybe the Naga is in danger with their Wisp block. But she just walks past the Wisp. And uh, detonate there on the Skeleton and the Death Knight. And maybe the Naga as well. I'm not sure if you hit the Naga. The Demon Hunter with the Boots of Speed being so annoying. And it kills the sheep. Look at the sheep. He's dead. Now it's Skeletons. The Naga with the Archers with the... Uh, was he trying to creep now? He's gonna kill some more ghouls or try to. Or kill a ghoul. He hasn't killed a ghoul yet, but maybe now we will get one. No, of course not. Of course not. And Holy Aura saves the ghoul, but now these four soul trappers will go to the Demon Hunter. He will get level 2 finally. There it is. Mana Burn is gonna be amazing. There it is. Mana Burn. And meanwhile, over here. We have to death not creeping some more. We got the illusions. Illusions is uh, is actually quite good late game in this matchup. When you have frost worms and you use illusions on on frost worms, the early game uh, just some scouting is not bad. There's another naga. Also on your heroes, of course, if you uh, illusion your heroes, then he does know which one to do. To mana burn. Is he, he's trying to get a level 5 by the way. But. Uh, he didn't get it. Did he get the XP? I'm not sure who got the XP. Because I am uh, i wasn't paying attention. But we do have a greater healing potion here. On the death knight. He got the item. Good for Lucy. Force Naga second. That's uh, what I was thinking as well, like... Naga second here for Night Elf. Of course, it's uh, worse than the Panda second. But some people would disagree with this statement. They like to go Naga anyway. One of mana stealing, not that great of an item. Bears are out, two adept bears. Is he going for an expansion at some point? I'm not sure how he's going to play. Maybe everyone saw, uh, what's his name? Colorful's games of not going for an expansion and Colorful just beating all the top and dead players with one base play. Maybe uh, maybe he saw those games and he's going to do the same. Or maybe he's going to build an expansion over here. He's at 47 supply. If he wanted an expansion, he should build it right now or even earlier. Well, he's actually still getting master. Should build it about right now. Human Hunter is almost level 3. Uh, here comes the Death Knight with the Lich and the Naga. Naga has a close of attack. Lich has an orb. And he's gonna creep over here. The De Death Knight is still level 2. There's a Book of the Dead. Someone just said 2 Book of the Dead. Oh, he has 1 so far. There's a Coil Nova on the Demon Hunter, but the Coil was just level 1, so the Demon Hunter hardly took any damage, but he TP's out anyway. Uh, loses an Archer, Lu uh, Ghoul got killed as well, this Ogre will go to Lucifer. And there's the second Book of the Dead. How did you know? How did you know? Did you watch Lucifer's stream and you just knew what was going to happen? And you spoiled us. Spoilered. Uh, this uh, bear taking a lot of damage. There's a fort lightning hitting an archer. Uh, there's a book of the dead. Just one so far. The second one still has cooldown. Of course, uh, there could be any wisp. Do we have dispel on the drives? We do have dispel. We don't have an expansion, so he does play it like colorful. But colorful, I think he was playing panda. Colorful didn't try to play it with the naga. I feel like the longer this game goes, the better it is for Lucifer. Because Lucifer has better heroes. The Naga is much better for Lucifer than this for uh, Enchant. It's creeping with the Book of the Dead. The Death Knight is still level 2 though. There's Knight Mana Burn. Naga also still level 2. Lich also level 2. 3 level 2 heroes. That's not what you want. You want 3 level 3 heroes. Another Mana Burn on that Naga. Of course, this is so important. Where's the Fosworm? He has a Fosworm building. But no Fosworm. As long as there's no Fosworm, the Death Knight can just keep harassing forever. He 
could probably just creep this dagger to level 3 easily peasily over there. Well, he keeps harassing with the demon hunter. But he wants to make sure that he, he won't give his creep camp to the undead. Skeletons are still gonna be alive there for some time. Some more mana burns would be nice, like on the death knight. There it is. These mana burns so important. Uh, but not as important as normal. Because there's no expansion for Night Elf. So and that is not really in, in, uh, under a time limit. Under time pressure. There's some Night Dispels on the Skeletons. Getting a bit of XP. Naga's almost level 3. Skeletons are about to go poof. Hey Chaco, what do you do for a living? I don't, I don't make a living at the moment. I'm uh, living rent free at my uh, mom's house. This uh, bear is taking a lot of damage. Beautiful fort lining there. Still love one fort lining, but it hits two foot, uh, two ghouls. This ghoul taking a lot of damage here in the front. Oh, he's going down. He died. And Sean needs to see the death knight item and bring a wisp. Well, yeah, that would be smart. Oh, he's on the high ground now. 50 spying and 64. I think he's building a frost worm. Or maybe we already made one. He's making made, made, uh, the second one. There's a level one coil on that demon hunter. Where's that frost worm? There he is. There's Mr. Frost worm. There's only one bear though. But still, you can, uh, after killing the bear, you can kill the heroes. He starts actually with the demon hunter. Uh, the uh, frost worm taking damage. Now the destroyer takes some damage. Now the demon hunter is being focused. Do we have more coil nova? Everything. We have level two coil now and level two fourth lightning as well. There's the coil, but the coils of frost worm. Fork Lightning is level 1 actually, pick level 2 Frost Arrow, which is uh, not bad actually. This bear taking a lot of damage, but we see Enchant has to retreat, he's 14 supply behind. Does he build an expansion yet? That's a really weird timing, but he did build an expansion finally. I don't like the way he plays this matchup at all. But here comes the Demon Hunter, what's he gonna mana burn? Mana burns the Death Knight. The Naga could probably be mana burned next. The uh, Naga over here is out of mana, loses some dryads. Uh, we have a hippo out though, and the hippo is gonna kill the frost worm, and that's gonna be a big deal. The bear gets staffed out. Frost worm 28 hit points, he does go down to a silly little hippo. That's the power of the hippo, and we don't have a uh, web. Not yet. The Naga might fall here, but not with these dryads here protecting the Naga. The uh, nice frost nova there on the demon hunter, level 1 frost nova, but still it's frost nova. And this archer is so dead. She's so dead. Look at her. She's dead. 40, 51 supply against 42. We still have a supply advantage for Lucifer. And he will get this item. <laughs> Lucky you. I mean, I kind of I kind of don't feel too lucky. Can't say I uh, enjoy living with my family too much. Legion Doomhorn. What a shitty item. Can, uh, you can devour this. There's a nice devourer. Not sure I'd call it lucky. <laughs> Kinda wanna get to get out of here as soon as I can, but anyway, we have a coil nova on this deep nutter. Wait, was this nova as well? Yeah, coil nova. Deep nutter taking a lot of damage. Gets staffed out. One drive going down with uh, three fiends, three heroes. Where's that frost worm? Uh, we have a destroyer being hunted down by hippos. Frost worm is still in the making, he's almost uh, done. And here, look at these webs! And one fiend does go down though. Sacrifices a fiend, but he does get a hippo. And this expansion is still not out. Uh, where is it? Here it is. We have piggies over here, by the way. You guys saw those piggies? Look, they're talking to each other. Uh, the creeps haven't been grabbed yet. He needs to creep it with uh, a few units, or a lot of units. Level 4 Demon Hunter, almost level 4 Naga. Okay, we have a level 3 Death Knight, level 3 Lich, and level 3 Naga. By the way, what item did he? Oh yeah, the Legion Doomhorn. Such a bad item. Of course he sold it. He already has the aura. It's the worst item. Even Crystal Ball is better at this point. There will be a, a third piggy soon. Uh, I'm not sure if it will be there soon. Or if it's gonna take a few months. There. Turn on the light because it's so dark. I could also turn... Also open my door. A player's course. So there's a close of attack, that's very nice for the Lich. 
Also gives this close of deck. Yeah, Lich now plus, plus 17 damage. Has Rune Bracers. Completely useless. Only works against the Fork Lightning and the Mana Burn. But, I mean, pretty much uh, an item you're gonna sell. Has a Mana Potion, of course, on the Death Knight. 49 against 66. This expansion is up now. The Shade probably knows about it. We have um, no upgrades for either player. Wisp in the tree here. Some Murlocs still sitting over here. This item has been taken a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago. It's so long ago that I don't even remember it was being uh, it was crept or what item it was. It was sold at some point. So, are we gonna go for another fight? It's 69 supply against 58. I think Luz let's let's count the Phosphorms and Fiends. We have four Fiends, two Phosphorms. How many Hippos do we have? That's always my main concern. Four Hippos, not enough. Five Hippos soon. Um... I don't think I don't think we have a chance here for uh, enchant, not yet at least. Although it's equal supply now. Oh, I, I can only cut five hippos. Not enough hippos. Six would six be enough? Well, it says it should have life is dead. Don't think six would be enough. Uh, this fiend take a lot of damage though, and now six is definitely enough. Uh, these hippos taking a lot of damage as well, though. The one hippo goes down. This bears now. This uh, this phosphor is attacking, even though he's on the same spot as the hippo. The hippo goes down, and this fiend is taking a lot of damage. This bear goes down, though. Uh, here come more hippos. Three hippos now. But uh, why is the fly uh, the phosphor next to the hippo? This web finally gets Michael down, but maybe a bit too. F okay, he took a lot of damage. Uh, all the bears have been killed. The fiends are now killing. Uh, uh, how do you call them? Everything. Uh, Tries that I want to say, but they uh, just as I was about to say that they attacked the Naga. Both the first were very long hit points. One goes down, the other one 57 hit points. The Abomination taking a lot of damage, he goes down. The Demon Hunter, do we have staff? We do have staff, but the Demon Hunter goes down anyway. And there goes an Archer. This bear is uh, it's gonna survive because the Naga is way too far in the back. And this Moonwall, he's not gonna survive. We're 55 against 44. It looks like Lucifer is gonna win this. Are we gonna see the rematch of Lucifer versus Chimiko? It does look like it. It was Cloak of uh, Flames. It was crapped really early. Okay. He doesn't have a enchant. <laughs> enchant doesn't have an enchant. So some more uh, creeping here by Lucifer. Does he have a level five on any of his heroes pretty soon? Not. Really, maybe, uh, yeah, I don't think he can creep to level 5 unless he creeps solo. Gets a parry up because there's just no more creeps left. What do we have left? Some Murlocs over here, two level 4s over here, and one level 4 over here. But there's no way Lucifer is gonna get this one. Demon Hunter's back from the tavern. He's almost level 5. Naga's also almost level 5. Beautiful waiting here. Just waiting. Of course, if another player has an expansion, there's no reason to attack. Might as well get these last creeps. Uh, he coils the, the Foss Worm because it was being killed by Murlocs. Probably should have moved the Lich away there. Get a bit more XP on these other heroes. Maybe move the Naga as well, away as well. Just try to get a level 5 Death Knight. There's still two level 4s over here. Uh, this level 4 have been, has been killed. Is the Demon Hunter level 5? No, not yet. What is this? A Moonwell? And some more waiting. Some more waiting for the perfect army. Of course, Enchant. He gets a lot from waiting. He's under 50 supply. He's a 49 supply. He's in a no upkeep. Doesn't have to pay any taxes. 
This for is in low upkeep. Keep. He has to pay taxes. And this for now going for those two level fours. Is he uh, gonna creep with the lich? I think even if he creeps with the lich, I think he should be get able to get level five. But the naga probably won't, especially not if he kills them before the naga even arrives. Oh, wow, I was wrong, completely wrong. He's 11 XP off of level five. He goes for an expansion here. What a nice expansion. Kako, are you an undead player? Like any respectable work with three foot and fun player? I'm, I'm not a player anymore. I'm retired because my uh, because of a hand injury. Here comes the demon under mana burn there on the death knight. This uh, bear taking a lot of damage. The hippo. It does get wet finally, but the Fosworms kill it easy peasy. Level 5 Death Knight now. What else is gonna die? Everything else is gonna die here for Night Elf uh, for Enchant. This Paradise, this uh, Ghoulmite. No, uh, there's nice Fos. Uh, for, for Lightning. Hippo here is being wrapped. It goes down. The Dry is going down. We still have uh, two bears alive, alive. Maybe they are going to die as well. There, look at the Fosworms. They just decide to kill the bears. Suddenly the bears are dead. There's another uh, coil on the Fosworm. He is alive. There's Dry at two hit points. There it is. GG. We have a panda first for PCG. Panda against orc. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are we watching? And what is the score? Uh, of course, it updates to. Wait, what? It's uh, zero zero, of course. Uh, not of course. It's uh, one zero for one of the players, I, I think. No, it's either zero zero or one zero. The game has been up for thirteen minutes. How long did last game last? How long did the game last? We just watched with Lucifer. Was that a long game? It was a long game, right? So it's probably already 1-0 for one of the players. Are these games live? Yes, they are live. Panda's level five. What is this? Dust of appearance. We have a foster room, we have a 60 supply here for PCG, 50 for Serene. Serene. With Kiyugami level 3, some nice items, claws, two claws of attack, the orb of course, a circlet and a claws of haste. Some uh, nice items, especially against the panda first. Usually against that, I don't think these items are too, too nice. You want some more circlets and less of these claws of attacks and the claws of haste. You just want circlets. Just to uh, make your... Your blade master will survive, unless maybe if you have a rune bracers, it would have been nice. But uh, and he has man on the shadow hunter, which is also nice in this case because there's just no nuke here. It's just a panda, level five panda with mass phosphorus. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Ten points for innovation. Well, PCG uh, is innovating. I can ask for the score, but every time I do, I don't get an answer anyway. He's gonna fight. Let's see. He has a two supply advantage. Do we have tier three for orc? We do. He does have everything. Double bestiary. Does have spirit lodge. Has wyverns, which are the counter to false worms. But four wyverns. They do have poison. So five wyverns. He has the kodo. Does he have uh, crit or no? He has windwalk. Evasion. But look how many phosphorons we have, and don't forget we have a level 5 panda, we can kill with vibrance very fast. 5? Are these 5 real phosphorons? Of course they're real. We're watching from our observer point of view, we would see illusions I believe. As uh, as blue units. The shop is down. Do we have a... Uh, spirit link, yes. Okay, there, here comes the fight. One first uh, phosphorum is going down very fast. The first wyvern already dead. Did he use a haste and breath of fire? I didn't see breath of fire, just saw a haste. There's a breath of fire. Pretty, uh, pretty late there, but uh, another phosphorum is about to die. Only two phosphorums left. Sure, all the uh, all the wyvern have been killed as well. Two phosphorums. Oh, level six panda. Level six panda. There is the ultimate. But one more phosphorum goes down. 
And uh, level 6 Panda, of course, you cannot fight it even with a Blade Master level 4 and a Shadow Hunter level 4. Uh, one Frostworm, last Frostworm is being hunted down. He's definitely going to die soon, but the Shadow Hunter, oh, Shadow Hunter uses a heal wave just before he dies. Can he kill the Shadow? Oh, he's being blocked by the Okodo, and he goes down. Shadow Hunter goes down, but there's just a Panda and two Destroyers. They can kill everything easily, easily. Uh, besides the Wyvern, of course. Well, this guy can attack the Wyvern. A uh, Cyclone there on the Blade Master. This Kodo is taking a lot of damage. He goes down as well. Uh, what else is the Panda going to kill? Uh, maybe this Grunt. Yeah, the Grunt, the Destroyer will take a lot of damage. This Raider taking a lot of damage as well. The Taunt being so good here. The Taunt uh, killed a few units already. And there is the Panda is back. But there's only it's a level 7 Panda against level 5 Blade Master. I don't think the Panda will win this. Because the Blade Master has much better items as well. His critical strike is better. The panda only has level two critical strike. The blade master has level three criti critical strike. And uh, well, this game is still not over. Thirty-six supply against twenty-six. <laughs> what an interesting game! And he's gonna sit in the base now to go back to fifty supply frost worms. I think so. Imagine that has stuff. <laughs> fucking panda killing everything lol. Panda ultimate man is so insane. Oh, but can he kill the panda here? He does have a TP in a worst case scenario. Uh, he buys uh, dust. Oh, Blade Master, maybe he overcommitted. Let's see if level 2 Windwalk is fast enough. Of course, without the aura, the Phosphorum couldn't catch that demon, uh, the Blade Master there. Whew. Okay, now beautiful sitting in the base strategy there by PCG. How much gold is left? About 4k, a little bit less. 3.5k. Did Orc hacks any worms? I don't think so. But there were destroyers, so maybe he did, or maybe he didn't. Maybe he did, and got uh, this belt. How much gold left? 3.5k. Ah! Uh. A uh, nice game for me to take a break and stretch the entire map has been crept there's the third false room I assume we just have mass wyvern right maybe with one uh, spellbreaker no wait spirit walker I mean not spellbreaker there's one wyvern one okay one code also makes sense um, one radio okay one of each and then mass wyvern Or can't take a fight with Panda Ultimate. Bad Riders? No. Well, let's see. Do we have armor upgrades on the Frost Worms? Still, I don't think it's worth it. We have three armor upgrades on the Frost Worms. But even if it's 0-0, uh, zero, zero, I believe without an expansion, it's still not worth it. If it's 0-0, zero, zero, it's still... Well, I guess with two Bad Riders per Frost Worm. And uh, an attack of the Blade Master. Maybe it would be worth it, but with three armor upgrades, it's definitely not worth it. Your bad riders just do only. Uh, what is it? 30 times 6. How much is it 30 times 6? 180. So your bad riders only do 420 damage. Worms don't work for Zork. Well, it's working alright so far. Oh, he kills a peon. This is that peon. Mm -hmm. We have four frost worms now. He's putting two more. PCG is over 50, by the way. Oh, look at this. PCG is 64 supply. So we need 50. If he just attacks with these two frost worms, he should be able to win easy peasy. Especially with his ultimate. He kills his own ghoul. This one statue. Orc did too many ground units. Scouting worm tech, he could just so do expand and mass wyvern to win. I don't know, we missed the early game. I don't know what we missed exactly. But against the panda, I don't. I assume, of course, that Sylvain did something wrong early game. 
against Panda, mass attack to false worms, and the Panda got level 5 already. No dust though. This baby mass can do whatever he wants. Kill this uh, destroyer perhaps. I don't know very good with the upgrade, but the mobility of Wyvern is worth it. I mean, either case, the Haze Breath of Fire is going to kill everything, right? Whether we're talking about Headhunters or Wyvern. I think the Headhunters are maybe... I don't know. That Destroyer went down, by the way. He does have a Shade, by the way. Maybe he should pull the Shade back so he could deal with the Blade Mash and didn't give that Destroyer away for free. Uh, illusions, by the way, illusions. So many illusions. And there we have a fight. Uh, Panda uses probably in haste and a breath of fire. There it is, yeah. And uh, ultimate now. The ultimate, there it is. But he's low on hit points. After his ultimate is done, he will have to TP out because the blade mask can just kill him easily, easily. Uh, everything is dying here for orc because the false worms to just kill everything. So does the panda. Uh, everything just dying. Everything is dead. Well, the Wyvern coming back into the fight with we have the illusionary frostworms in the front. I'm not sure if he did that on purpose or on uh, if it just was coincidence. But the panda just hunting down the, the oh the shadow hunter is being hunted down. Where's the other panda? He's in the back here. Maybe he should have hunted down with that panda as well. Uh, but the panda is almost done with the ultimate. Why is not? I think he could have gotten more use out of this panda. The panda will be over here. This is the worst position for the panda. Okay, he moves him back in time. It's always the Earth Panda that becomes uh, the Panda. There's a Breath of Fire, but the Panda is in pretty long hit points. 500 hit points. Uh, Shadow Hunter went down somewhere. I missed it. Blade Master went down. GG. <laughs> GG. Uh, Chamiko against Lucifer. Earlier this day, it was very uh, one-sided one here for Chamiko. Did I leave the door open or not? Is my cat outside or not? I don't know. <laughs> Shit. I just have to check if the door is open because it's raining uh, pretty hard. I'll be right back. The door was in fact open, so uh, I had to close it. Okay, did I update the score here? No, not yet, right? Best of three is what we have. Uh, score should be zero, zero. Update. There it is. And uh, what do we have here? We have a Death Knight level three, Lich level one. 34 supply against 36. Oh, a slaughterhouse going down. Kenny, you're repairing time. Five acolytes coming to repair the slaughterhouse. We have a score, a score of the beast even being used for extra damage. Acolytes taking a lot of damage, but the coil will save them for now. This water metal will eventually fall. There's another water metal. It kills one acolyte actually. Even though there was a uh, mana for coil. 120 is the line, he's playing against life right now. This uh, Acolyte takes a lot of damage, he does survive. And a statue is being summoned. Archmage walking in. Damn panda worms, new meta. He will be. I wonder if, if he's uh, gonna try it again. What do we have over here? Fiends and the Lich are gonna try to do some damage. Are we still tier 1? We're on their way to tier 2. This game looks already much better for Lucifer than any of the games we saw earlier. 
Earlier, uh, of course, it was 2-0 for Tamiko. And this really, it didn't seem like he had a chance, those games. This game, at least, it looks like he has a, a chance here. Duke Dratmore. The Lich is on his way back. Ooh, picks up the Archmage with the Zeppelin. Do you have a Gargoyle? A Gargoyle, almost. Almost. He knows the Gargoyle timing, or the Zeppelin timing. He's going for a Meat Wagon because he realizes his... Uh, Destroyers are not gonna cut it. In fact, I don't think he ever even went, uh, wanted to go for destroyers. He only has one slaughterhouse. And he went for four fiends and a statue. This cargo trying to hunt down the zeppelin. It looks awful for Lustre right now. It might look awful, but it's looking better than the games earlier. Those games, man. Uh, it was like, what, a level four Archmage against. A level 2 Death Knight. Right, the Death Knight, look, he's at least keeping up in XP. There goes the Footman. This level 5 will go down as well. Wand of Illusion, Tome of Intelligence, he's level 4 now on the Archmage. Death Knight is close to level 4. Lich already level 2. Did he kill the Zeppelin, by the way? I think so. Do we have Frost Nova? We do have a Frost Nova there. This footman is going to die. This Archmage is a fake one, but uh, he does go for it for a little bit. There's the Meat Wagon. Meat Wagon taking a lot of damage. A second Meat Wagon and third Meat Wagon. Uh, he doesn't have Disease Cloud. Is he a tier 3? He is a tier 3. Does he have the Orb? He does have the Orb. These footmen, are they going for his main? Or are they going to try to uh, snipe meat wagons? It's too late to snipe this one. But then maybe the next one, he can snipe it with the Archmage and the footmen. Or is he going to attack them from the behind? There's a Mad King. Unfortunately, unfortunately, you cannot Stormbolt meat wagons. This tower uh, is dead. There it goes. It does have the Blight here still, so super regeneration on the Fiends and the meat wagons. Do the meat wagons benefit from light? I don't know. They do that benefit from the unholy aura. So you, it would make sense uh, they benefit from light as well. The mountain king survives that coil, easy peasy. Archmage hunting down these meat wagons. They do have false armor. And there's the third. Uh, there's the Zeppelin. He's gonna save his meat wagons. Zeppelin, of course, very nice with the meat wagons. Kind of reminds me of uh, StarCraft with the. Uh, Reverse. Blizzard time. Well, not yet, apparently. There goes the shop. Now it's going for the tunnel. Do we have... Uh, we don't have any upgrades. No masonry upgrades. And earlier, Tamiko didn't get masonry upgrades either. Now it's getting the first one. And he won easily peasily. He didn't even need them. Oh, but... The flying machines, they do kill the Zeppelin. This, uh, this uh, meat wagon goes down. Only two meat wagons alive. This one taking a lot of damage from the water elementals. And you just cannot coil meat wagons. But the water elementals, they all fall. Maybe you can save this one. Not with the Archmage there, though. Archmage throws a fireball. 21 HP, and it does go down. Only one meat wagon alive. And that's just not enough meat wagons to kill this expansion. Even without any masonry upgrades. We have uh, knights. There's two knights already. And a tri hero for human as well. He's getting a upgrade, a knight upgrade. He's not enough to defend this. There's four fiends, two heroes only for uh, Lucifer. He does have the uh, almost level three lich. Oh, he has some fake knights. Maybe with the fake knights it is enough. There's a coil on the fiend. Lucifer panics, of course, seeing four knights. That's too much knights, but maybe he realized that some of them are fake. There's a stormbolt on this uh, fiend. There's another. Is that? Yeah, there's a third real knight. So now there are five knights, three of them real, two of them uh, fake. There's a Stormbolt on the Death Knight, but he doesn't really care too much. He's still at the almost full hit points. The Paladin takes a bit of damage. Statue is also uh, only down to 200 hit points. Does he have the Destroyer upgrade? No, he doesn't even have the Destroyer upgrade. One, uh, one fake knight does go down the real knight over there. Maybe he doesn't want to fight this. Oh, he goes for the Flying Machine's web. 
kills three flying machines, and that means uh, destroyers. Oh, there's two meat wagons over there still. Okay, no need to go destroyers just yet. Could all oh, I was about to say he could always uh, go panda third if he needs to, but he goes dark ranger with the silence of course. Uh, but so many knights, man, five knights stronger than four four fiends. There's a coil on one knight. The meat wagons. I don't think they're gonna equalize this fight, especially not if they're dying to the water metals. The mountain king is dead. Oh no, he gets stuffed just at the uh, right time, the last moment. Uh, there's a coil for another fiend. The fiend's just not dying, but one of them is about to die. Well, uh, both the meat wagons have been killed as well. Uh, there are nice coil there on this fiend. Paladin is uh, is sick, but he uh, he survives. This me uh, this knight taking a lot of damage. One two upgrades on the knights. The fiends are one zero. And we have the water elementals doing so much damage. We have a bunch of fake death knights on this side as well. And there it is, GG. Chamiko wins that game. No panda. Just a death knight. It's at zero XP here. What about the blade master? The blade master has a few, a little bit of XP. The slaughterhouse is up. This is, by the way, Serene against uh, PCG. Blade Master going for the Slaughterhouse. Can I cancel it? Is this game live? Yes, it's live. The Slaughterhouse is cancelled. There is a cancel. What is the Death Knight going for? This Grunt is taking a lot of damage. He's down to uh, 218 hit points. We see the tier 2 up. This was a very aggressive game for both players because uh, we see how little XP they have on their heroes when they're already at tier 2. He's already taken to Black Citadel. The Blade Master is healing himself. Death Knight. Oh, this to gun down damage, the danger. One more hit and one more coil, and he's dead. But he's a chicken! Chicken attack. Chickens can't attack in this game. But the skeleton, can he get that last hit in? No. The, the grunt attacked faster. <laughs> like, the, the skeleton was about to attack, but he first has to swing his sword all the way back, and the grunt just, in that time, he just hit him, like, in the face, and the skeleton died. So. Shadow Hunter killing uh, the creeps over here, the, the Null Overseer will give a nice item. The Blade Master level 2, he could use another circlet, that's what he wants. Another circlet is what he wants. Gets a close of attack, it is fine, it's at least uh, better than the Ring of Protection plus 2. Blade Master kills its skeleton. Skeleton sees the Orc army, is one raider. Doesn't have ensnare just yet. Will have ensnare soon, I assume. He's getting spirit walkers. Did he uh, get it in the meantime? No. Why is he not getting ensnare? He's getting an important upgrade here. Under the of the earth we should help him. Unfortunately, we can't. Else, I would have gladly helped him there and selected that upgrade. He's keeping this null overseer. What's the death knight doing again? He's fast taking to frost worms again? Maybe. I mean, he still has. Look at this. Zero XP. How long in the game are we already? We're uh, seven and a half minutes in the game. And we don't have a single XP on the death knight. And just sitting here in his base. He's getting a boneyard. It worked last game with the panda, with the level 5 panda. Maybe it will work again this game with like level 1 Death Knight, level 1 Lich. But I don't think so. So in the Zook is already level 2, the Blade Master level 2. And um, I don't know, the Red. And Snatch the Red, can he kill it? Of course, there's a coil, but uh, if he wants to save the Lich, he will have to give the TP because the Lich is around it. There he gives the TP. And he will get out of here just fine, but he just lost his TP. And I mean, he's just nothing he can do. He has to wait for his Frost Worms, because that's what he's doing. Fast tacking to Frost Worms. With uh, the storage as well. Netties hasn't worked for me. It keeps telling me there's a problem with my phone number. I think I just skipped the phone number uh, thing. You don't have to. You don't have to fill in the phone number. Just like Priest is saying there, you should be able to exit out of the option to use your phone number. I 
don't think Undead will win this. Neither do I, but somehow he was able to uh, win last time with the Panda. No expansion attempt at all for Sweden. Um, I'm not sure if that would have been the option, the uh, answer anyway. I remember when I played against it myself on ladder, I tried to build expansion and uh, it's just not up in time, your expansion. You don't get the benefit from it in time and then the fossil rooms come and you lose the game. It's actually not as easy to defend for orc as you think it would be. Like fast tech to fossil rooms with a level 1 death knight. I've lost against it often enough myself. Even though it looks, uh, you'd think it's so easy to defend. I mean, I'm sure like, for people like Focus, Fly and Lin, it is easy to defend. Oh, uh, defend, defeat. One Foster Worm out, he's going for the second one. Eight Master level three. And let's start screaming these gnolls. Is he, uh, so we have finally some XP on the Death Knight. Some XP. He did get a boost of speed there. These gnolls are going to die. Focus would have two Expos by now. Maybe. Need bats here, no fiends. I mean, there's no fiends, so sure bats can, uh... If you have the orb on your death on your blade master, he does have the orb. You can maybe get two bats per uh, two bats per frost worm, and then attack in from the blade master. Two bats they do. How much damage do they do? Um, six hundred minus thirty six is five hundred sixty four times two is one eleven hundred. Actually, two bats is still not enough. You need, after two bats, you still need 200 more damage. So if you get four bats, so let's say you have four bats, you use two on the false worm and two on the other false worm. Hopefully the splash damage uh, will help killing the other false worm. That might be worth it. But um, if he gets any armor upgrades, he is getting armor upgrades. It's gonna get uh, very risky to go bats. There's a destroyer. Because at some point it does just does isn't cost effective anymore. You won't be able to kill any frost runs with your bats. These uh ray, these grunts dying so fast. This is where he gets his XP from. The grunts are just XP tomes here walking on the map. Three grunts dead. Easy peasy. Uh the blade master in trouble. The, he does have an info potion. Where's the frost nova? Do we have more frost novas? Come on Lich. He does have a frost nova available why not Frost Nova? There it is. But he's still so fast. The Blade Master is too fast. The Coil will kill him though. Uh, that's not true. Coil is only level 1 first of all. <laughs> uh, second of all, even if it was level 2, it's only 140 damage. And he had uh, 152 HP. We have two Wyverns now. PTG down in Head in Supply. Need Torin. Okay, he needs Torin apparently. Torin would be very good here. Let's see, we have one armor upgrade now. He's getting the second one. He's getting the second one. I guess with one armor upgrade, bats might still be uh, okay. But he has a shade here, so he can see the bats coming. He can also get a scroll of protection. However, you can counter that with the alchemist if you really want to go bats. But the wyvern, I believe, is just a better choice. If you don't have an uh, expansion. What did we get here? Amulet of Spell Shield. No more Hex on the Death Knight. Did he sell the boots? No, he still has the boots. Three Phosphorns. Three Destroyers. Uh, these three Wyverns don't stand a chance. Well, this is... Uh, apparently, Sowin also doesn't really know how to play against this. He has five Wyvern. Although, um, it's not over yet. Look, the hero levels are so much even, more even now. Both of these are almost level 4 though. 
But the Lich and the Death Knight, they can keep so fast. Another full swarm out. 68 against 63. Anyone wants a chocolate meal? <laughs> Good morning, Serenity. And now we have two armor upgrades. Now I definitely don't think bats would be an uh, answer. Especially on the destroyers. They have seven armor. They have even more armor than the full swarm. This Coda takes some damage. Killing the Coda will be huge. It's 20% uh, damage on the entire Orc army. One Full Swarm gets a coil, so he doesn't die yet. The Wyvern also dead. The Wyvern and Coda dead already for one Full Swarm. Uh, we have two more Wyverns in the back here for a flank attack. Wyvern flank attack. All the Full Swarms are dying. Only one alive, but uh, only three, four Wyverns alive. So let's see who wins this fight. The Blade Master and the Wyvern killing this. Uh, oh, two Full Swarms actually still alive. I can't count. There goes that Full Swarm. And this Full Swarm is now a little birdie, but that gets devoured. Uh, because we have three destroyers here, and he can also devour this spirit link if he wants to. There's another coil on the first room, would be nice. There it is, just in time. The Blade Master taking damage here from this level 5 ogre, by the way. There is this raider, he's down as well. But the Blade Master did kill that first room, and now it's just uh, no more first room, which means that the Blade Master can attack as fast as he wants. Uh, the Berserker does go down there, but the Lich will will easily win the fight here against the Blade Master. Do we have more coils? There's another coil on the destroyer. Blade Master used the Info Potion. And uh, what is it? 47 against 34 supply. And now we can go for this item even. Level 4 heroes for both players. Why is the orb on the Death Knight? Uh, he probably gave it to the Death Knight for a little bit to attack the air units, the Wyverns. Isn't It's back up to the, on the Lich now. And, uh, well, the Blade Master trying to get this statue before he TPs out. Oh, he didn't get the statue. Eight hit points. The attack of the creep was actually in the air. He wanted to get the statue as well. But the item, what it was, what item did he get? I think he just sold it. No, Staff of Silence. Staff of Silence. We have a shade here, AFK. We have more false worms. Worms are terrible. Free win for Orc if he knows how to conjure it easy to say but in uh, practice that's usually not the, the good case right i mean so is uh one of the best orcs in the world i mean obviously he doesn't know how to counter it but what i'm saying here is if so doesn't know how to counter it there's probably more orcs that don't know of course so is a new uh newer orc he probably uh, has played a lot of games against standard and that but doesn't hasn't played enough games against these uh, weird strategies compared to someone like Focus or Lin, who uh, who've been playing for like over 10 years. They probably know how to counter this, but I definitely don't think it's it's uh, it's easy to counter because I I remember when I was playing, I had the same problem. I was thinking the same, like I was losing to this uh, shit, this one solo death knight, level one death knight, hides in the base. Attacking to match false worms and everything I tried, I lost to it. Fast expansion, reference, fast reference, uh, fast berserks, whatever I tried, I lost to it. And I, I knew there was just some very obvious counter that you could just win it, uh, win that, uh, right? Because else everyone would play it, else everyone would play mass false worms. But it's not as obvious as everyone's thinking, like. Some of you say bad riders. Well, I assure you, if you just go past bad riders, you're not gonna beat it. Actually, I can't assure you. I, <laughs> I can't assure anything. I don't know how to beat it, but I'm sure there are some uh, strategies. Oh, this first room take a lot of damage. He will die here. We have a bunch of wyvern, five wyverns. But we only have one first room left, but the heroes here are pretty strong. Level five on both. And now with the level 5 heroes, sure we have level 5 here for Orc as well though. We have level 5 for Orc as well. 59 against 54, it's still uh, actually anyone's game. Uh, let's see, the the Wyvern however, is so vulnerable against the Frost Nova, but yeah, it doesn't have mana anymore for Frost Nova. And this uh, Frost Nova takes another coil, we we'll also have one Kodo, which is like... Like this is like the perfect counter army, isn't it? One Kodo, Mass Wyvern. 
Uh, one uh, one more Wyvern dying. There's one Wyvern left, but two more Wyvern coming in. He gave the the orb again to the Death Knight, so the Death Knight can attack the air units. And uh, there's another Fosworm coming in, though. And the Fosworm uh, is still alive. The, uh, the Death Knight Blade Mash, I mean, go for the Destroyer. And a TP out here by the Death Knight. Uh, it now you're the best orc in the world. <laughs> Thanks, Max. Okay. Uh, the Death Knight creeping over here. We have some level fives. We have uh, level fives creeping over here. It means no one is getting XP, but they're getting the items. Uh, and maybe buy a zeppelin and go to the islands. Maybe we see an island expansion for someone. Or the uh, the items, of course. We have a shadow hunter with plenty of hit points, mana, and everything. Potion of greater healing, potion of mana, two uh, mana items, a lot of mana. Blade master has uh, full mana. Some extra hit points that's useful. Some extra damage that's useful. He's under 50 supply though, so he is under 50. Okay, no one's going for the uh, islands. Thanks to the other host there, uh, Lucifer. Does that mean that Lucifer first time Miko is already over? I think it, do it does mean that. So I assume then that Chai Miko beat Lucifer because that must have been uh, a 2 0 then. But welcome all of Lucifer's uh, viewers. The Dark Ranger is level 1. Blade Mass is going for the statue. Is there a shade? I don't see any shades. I use the info potion just to get the statue. He will uh, not get it. Uh, now he's in, in danger. Is he in danger? He doesn't have anything uh, besides level 2 Windwalk to save himself. But the Fosworm, they do have Unholy Aura this game. Last game he could get away because there was a panda. There was no Unholy Aura. So those Fosworms were way slower and the Blade Mass goes down. This is uh, what I was expecting to happen last game, but it didn't happen because like uh, no unholy aura. This game, however, completely different situation. That blade master is dead. Way too greedy. You cannot do that against frost worms unless you have an uh, info potion, or uh, at least a speed school, or you get uh, level three wind walk. Level three wind walk would be different, of course. This altar is never gonna be in time. It's just gonna kill the altar. Uh, but how many wyvern do we have? Not enough. Not enough. Without a blade master, there's no way. There's no way so we can win this game. Beautiful Fosna over there on a bunch of wyvern. And the wyvern gets some attacks in on the Fosna. We even have a, a gargoyle, by the way. And with 10 armor now, even the gargoyle will survive a bad rider hit. So uh, we also have the devotion aura for even more anti bad rider upgrades. This uh, gargoyle does go down though. Kodo ate a ghoul. That must be so tasty. The altar will go down for sure before the blade master gets out. There, there goes the altar. 41 supply against 50. PCG is now under 50 as well. And he's getting an expansion up. PCG for, with the expansion. And we all find the weakness here in Sawin. Just go mass frost worms against Sawin. That's what you have to do. Doing 400 APM. He does have 400 APM wyverns. They usually uh, you have a bit higher APM when you play wyverns. Just because you have to babysit them a lot more. Shadow Hunter, what is he trying to sneak out by the Blade Master back? So risky. Well, uh, man, that was a huge mistake. Yeah, the Blade Master losing the Blade Master pretty much lost him the game. Don't think there's a chance for him to come back in this game. He has five Wyvern and one Kodo. The Kodo is done eating the ghoul. If only the Kodo could eat a Fosworm. 
Even then, even if the Kodo could eat a Frostworm, I don't think Sowin would have a chance in this game. Get some uh, attacks off of the Wyvern. Of course, the poison damage is very nice, but uh, there's a coil on the Frostworm. Uh, the Burrows defending here. So many peons in the Burrows. That both Frostworms almost died there. Look, we have uh, three in these, four in this, and four in this one. So, a lot of... Uh... He's just going to kill the, 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 the this guy. But he does have a greater healing potion. Be careful with your air units, because they die very fast to all this uh, piercing damage. The Death Knight instead is taking a lot of damage. And uses the heal wave. Unfortunately, he cannot hex the Death Knight, even if he had the mana, because he has that amulet of spell shield. Oh, the uh, Shadowhunter in a lot of danger, but uh, some of the false rooms as well. Level 6, level th 6 Shadowhunter. Oh, wow, 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 the Death Knight went down. But I think the Shadowhunter is also going down. There goes the Shadowhunter. And uh, I wonder, can the Wyverns fight here? There's no man on the Lich, but there's still one statue. No, the Wyverns can't really fight here. The, the Lich is just too strong. There's another Frost uh, Nova. This Wyvern, they did kill another Destroyer. But it's just two Wyvern now against one Destroyer. This Wyvern, 33 hit points. This one goes down. This go there, the GG. And the winner is the winner of this group. Archmage here. Do we see a fast take to Frostworms, maybe? Against Human. He does go for a pretty late death knight. So isn't this pretty late? Getting some uh, ghouls first. We saw him play earlier actually. Was it also against Yumiko? Yeah, that was against Yumiko. Where he just went the tier 2 mass ghoul rush with the panda second. Just built nothing. No graveyard, no slaughterhouse, no anything. Just went panda second tier 2. Just kept building ghouls from his crypt. And that's what, how he played. And boss skeletons, of course. That's it. <laughs> the APM. 400. Uh, 19 APM for 41. Well, there's not much uh, to do here so far for PCG. Maybe he's resting his hands. Just like I am right now. As you can see, I'm not using the mouse at the moment. I'm not using... I'm not clicking anywhere. He's not even going Death Knight first. He's going Panda first, isn't he? I don't see the altar blinking lights. As you can see, he's... Uh, the Death Knight wasn't out yet, was it? I think he cancelled it. Wait, let me just double check. Yeah, we don't see a hero. Is he going Panda first? I think so. <laughs> I was already thinking like this, a late hero. But that's a very late. He even has backpack, so he's going to buy skeletons with the ghouls. And then uh, run out, buy Panda, harass the expansion. Fire Lord. Do you have to pay? Oh, no, you don't have to pay net these at all. It's free. If you uh, want... Um, how do you call it? Uh, ping Accelerator. Maybe you have to pay. But there are free ones as well. There are some skeletons on the ghoul here. With the backpack. This ghoul is going to buy Panda. What do you... Someone else said Fire Lord. Hey, Gogo Plata. I said Panda. Anyone has any other... Uh, Guesses like Tinker or have to be fast. The ghoul's gonna buy it by him or her. What do we have? Nothing yet. <laughs> He's pretending not, not to buy anything yet. <laughs> the Archmage, by the way, is already uh, almost level three. <laughs> we still don't have a hero here for PCG. It is not a broken game, isn't it? Is it? That would be so stupid if the game was just broken. Alchemist, Tinker, Dark Ranger, Pit Lord with Cleave. Dark Ranger. He sends in the ghouls. We still don't have a hero. Come on. <laughs> Show us. Come on, this is so late. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? He's going in the base with the ghouls. GG. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did we just watch? Game, a no hero game. Look, <laughs> no hero. No hero. It was supply stuck. It was supply stuck. You made the ghoul too much. Is that what you're saying? His, uh, his army was 27. 27 out of 30. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a nice attempt there by PCG. And a nice cheesy strategy. Hero score zero. Have we ever seen this before? A game where, where there was over with a hero score of zero. 
Nice. We have to join the game early because the game might end early. So we can't miss anything. Imagine if we miss something important here. Let's see if he's going hero this game. TCG, is he going for a hero? Is he going for no hero? Actually, everyone guessed wrong last game. I mean, only the people that didn't didn't guess a hero. Those were the people that were correct. Because he didn't get a hero. Does he have more than 40? He has 50 APM this game. This game is building graveyard. Did he build a graveyard last game? I don't think so. Yumiko against PCG. Chaco, which city do you live in and what's the best restaurant? I live in uh, Bunschot Sparkenburg and the best restaurant, I don't know. I've only been here two months and I've not gone to a single restaurant yet. I've just been eating at home. When I lived in Japan, I lived there for like uh, five years. My favorite restaurant was because it was cheap and was fast and it was healthy and everything uh, everything nice about it so do we have a hero by the way we do have the death knight but that's what he tried to do last time as well but then he cancelled it let's see if he cancelled it this time McDonald's we don't have a McDonald's here I'm sorry we don't have a McDonald's in this entire city it's not really a city this little town this little village in the middle of nowhere. We have one fiend out. How about Yoshinoya? Yoshinoya? Yoshinoya is always like a few cents more expensive than Sukiya. And it tastes a bit different. I kind of like the taste of Sukiya a bit better than Yoshinoya. But mostly it's because I save like, like what, 30, 30 to 50 dollar cents every time I eat there. Was it hard being a gaijin in Japan? Not really. I mean, there's a lot of people that complain about being a foreigner in Japan. But overall, it wasn't really that difficult for me. I mean, some things are difficult, but that mostly it's just a language. I did get a death knight, by the way. He hunted wills. There are not that many wills in Japan. Oh, this uh, footman is surrounded. Yumiko loses his footman. Did you marry a Japanese girl? I was thinking about it. I could have gotten a visa. I could have uh, stayed in Japan if I just married a Japanese girl. I could be in Japan right now. I would have a visa, I would have I would have money because she would have money, you know. Everything would be solved, but I kinda don't wanna throw away the rest of my life like that. He's building a town hall here with two peasants, building a tower here with three more peasants. Yumiko's Archmage by the way, he got two rings of protection. Oh that's so bad, and a slivers of agility. He got the worst item like three times in a row, four times in a row now. With the replenish potion, he used the Book of the Dead, and uh, Yumiko just has to cancel this expansion, of course, against the Book of the Dead. That's so powerful. It was really nice there, by the way, by PCG keeping this uh, this Book of the Dead. That's a nice kill on the footman. Uh, PCG might actually win this game. That's amazing. This is, uh, so far so good. What's he doing with the skeleton? Sends him to the base here of Yumiko. When are you planning to switch to PG? Uh, are you planning to switch to PG Funcom after this? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, probably. Probably, yeah. Happy worker. Okay. I don't know what the PG Funcom is. Why is it called a Funcom? Is there, uh, is, are the rules different? We have the skeletons and the skeletons fighting and the fiends as well. Uh, against militia, against the defend footman. The skeleton is dying slowly, but the fiends, we have so many fiends, five fiends, they're killing militia so fast. Look at the militia, he cannot even micro them out because they die so fast. Uh, so he micros them out when they're, well, he loses so many. We have level three death knight now. Archmage are also already level three, the skeleton's dying. There are some unusual maps. 
Okay, well. That doesn't, uh... Okay, I'll, I will uh, cast PG Cup after this. But maybe after this we'll have one more game. But because it does look like uh, PCG is gonna win this. He's still an Necropolis, by the way. Just minor detail there. That's why he's so many fiends. Well, I guess the game is still far from over. How many footmen do we have? Just one. The water elemental is just so strong. One is going to... Back into the water. The militia here is the one to build an expansion. He, his town hall is still at the tier 1 as well. With six fiends now. He has a coil. He can always save a fiend. Avalanche. Puzzle Basin. Center gro Centaur Grove. Death Trap. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know any of those maps really. Besides Lost Tavern. Lost Temple. There's a nice coil on this fiend. Uh, PCG will not win. He's kind of bad. He goes better. I I don't know. He's not that bad. He's just doing some weird strategies. He has seven fiends. He has a really good early game so far. I think he can win this game. This, uh, this Archmage takes a lot of damage. Do we have skeletons? We do have skeletons. There's a bunny sitting there that could become a skeleton or two. <laughs> Lost Tavern. And again, is he gonna cancel this? Well, let's see. We have uh, four footmen and a uh, few water elementals. Oh, one fiend gets around it. Can he save it? He does have a coil. He coils it. Goes for the water elemental. But, I mean, he will get the water elemental. Oh, he opens it. No, he doesn't. Gets a water elemental. Uh, these fiends are being blocked by the piggy. Little piggy. I'm not sure if, he, uh, if the fiend could have gotten away anyway. Because it seems like uh, he couldn't. But two fiends dead. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I should have listened to you. Uh, our league 13. Just lost two fiends there. So, uh, and he didn't cancel the expansion. Imagine if he just let that fiend die and just killed the peasants there, killed the tower there, canceled the expansion. I think uh, he would be in a much better position. I thought that was what he was going to do, but. I guess he didn't listen to me. The skeleton taking a lot of damage. We're still tier 1 here. The footman have very low hit points though. He doesn't have arcane vault. He might still be able to just uh, do some damage here. But we have 5 footmen with defend. We have 6 fiends without defend. The lich? Where's the lich? Don't know where the lich is. He does almost have money for the lich. I want to see lich. He doesn't want to see lich. Or is he going to go for panda? He goes for Dark Ranger, okay, Dark Ranger, with Dark Arrow, I assume. Yes, Dark Arrow. This fiend is uh, almost surrounded with five uh, five footmen here. Okay, well, yeah, he might close his fiend. He's still alive, with two coils. This, uh, this guy takes a lot of damage, a coil there on the fiend. One, one footman is dead though, and we have one skeleton now. This footman is also going to die though. Then we have two skeletons, and the fiend survives this... Uh, we have no more coils though, but the fiend survives, and we have two skeletons thanks to that Dark Ranger. But now we cannot use the Rod of Necromancy because there's no more bodies. He should kill the piggy there, so he can cast more skeletons, and get can get four skeletons. But two lesser Dark Minions and two skeletons, now he doesn't go for it. What about Silence Footman? No defend, if it only that worked. But you can defend even though uh, your mouth is uh, duct taped. Let's go for the tower. Doesn't quite get it. Too many peasants repairing it. He should probably go for the peasants. So he can turn them into skeletons. Now he's going for them. Two water elementals defending here. They're so strong. Six fiends don't win against two water elementals. We have seven fiends now. This fiend takes a lot of damage. Oh, he has burrow. He has burrow. Do we have uh, reveal? We don't have a farm near the thing. We don't have uh, dust either. So no fiends are ever gonna die again, no matter what. It's one burrows. This one takes a little bit of damage. Seven fiends, they're all on burrow. The one skeleton fighting against the water elemental. And uh, maybe we can throw a coil. We don't need a coil just yet. There goes the arcane tower. And uh, there goes the water elemental as well doesn't turn into skeleton because he doesn't have a skeleton oh this fiend or this fiend could use coil there coil the burrow's the other one beautiful oh but what are the fiends doing 
they are hugging the footman and then they retreat just giving a quick hug and then they're like okay that's all you get for now it's for a fee oh beautiful surround here on the statue but but what no buts, just a beautiful surround on the statue. The statue goes down, the fiend's here on Burrow. In the back, the death knight surrounded, he does have a TP. He will have to use it here because uh, no way he can fight himself out of it. That's not the biggest deal, he kills two footmen. He doesn't need to wait too long, where? There's a TP. Kills one more uh, footman, kills one more footman, but loses a fiend. Not, not loses a fiend, does not lose a fiend. He's going to Black Citadel, going to buy a health potion, there it is, and a mana potion. Maybe shoot... Uh, Heal up for a second, maybe creep something, get some skeletons, use the skeletons to fight while you're healing up. Okay, that's exactly what he's doing. But here comes a human, Yumiko, Yumiko, whatever, Yumiko, there's a skeleton. Uh, one footman went down, this uh, fiend kick can use coil, there's a beautiful coil. The creeps are actually attacking the archmates and the water elemental, I think. This, oh, there's dust, he kills one fiend. But the Death Knight is uh, not in the safest spot. Takes some damage, but he still has a healing potion, so he's just safe. He's no problem for Mr. Death Knight. He's footman killing skeletons. Probably not what they want to do. The creeps are now attacking the dead. They're creep uh, attacking PCG. Look at this fiend, it's dead. The Archmage tried to kill it, but the creep killed it first, I believe. There are coil on the Archmage. Archmage uses an info potion, so he survives. So for uh, Death Knight, another fiend goes down. So we're down to four fiends. He lost a lot of fiends there. And uh, too many, to be honest. Too many fiends. Three fiends? You killed a few footmen, but... Losing your fiends. Definitely not worth it. But he will get this creep gun now, and he will get, have a lot of skeletons. Can he do something here, though? Too many towers up. He's going to castle. Yes, towers here as well. Green spirit towers remind me of the campaign, the early stages. Ooh. This footman taking a lot of damage. He's dead. So the Dark Ranger broke at level 3. Level 2 skeletons, of course, very, very strong. Archmage healing up. There's only 5 towers here. He's getting masonry level 2, though. Footman taking some damage. Taking a lot of damage. The footman is dead. There it is. This footman is uh, well. The the fiend burrows. The footman goes down. Let's see the are the yeah. The footman went down. The, the statue took a lot of damage. He still uh, has 300 hit points. There goes water elemental. Okay, can he get this water elemental as well? There's a coil. It gets that water elemental. Level three uh, dark ranger now, of course. And he's gonna finish this creep camp. And he's at uh, Black Citadel, he's gonna get Lich third, get, gonna get Destroyer upgrade. He has three statues. Remember, there's not that many towers in the main. And he has skeletons as well. Coils, level two coil there on the Death Knight. Blocks with the uh, skeletons. Beautiful blocking here by PCG. And there's a Storm Bolt on the Death Knight and that uh, uh, Mount King gets away. Uh, he should get a skeleton here. Oh, it was too late with the attack. It's a waste of a level 2 skeleton. Archmage is coiled, but he will get away safely. We have a greater mana potion there on the Death Knight. Let's see. Yumiko is at almost at castle. Double workshop is going tanks. Looks like tanks. Because he has no other production buildings or flying machines. Okay. It's usually with flying machines you see knights. Oh, there's a knight. Only one barracks. He's getting in the third masonry armor upgrade. And he's getting the upgrades for the knights. How many destroyers do we have? Three destroyers. Is that enough? That might be enough. Against, uh, yeah, that's probably enough. We have level two coil. And what's Yumiko going to do? He's just going to lose. Does he have flying machines out yet? I think he only has like two or so. Uh, nice first Nova. And he kills the tower. Uh, coil. There's not a coil. Uh, this first destroyer might fall though. Well, there's not enough damage here on these towers. The destroyer uh, survives, but maybe the peasants can repair fast enough. There's no more men on any of the destroyers, but we have more force now us killing peasants. We have a uh, one knight defending here, and a, a ogre as well. Ogre defending. Of course, the ogre is a creep, but 
he defends the human base nevertheless the knight here will turn into a skeleton if he's not careful no there's a skeleton level two skeleton nice storm bolt on the fiend we have skeletons over there as well we have a level five death knight and now we have some uh, flying machines but four is not enough They're oh the, the arc base let's use the info potion more flying machines dying we have a holy light here in the back but he needs to move his units back he moves the mountain king there in the range he get the holy light the mountain king uh, but nothing died here yet for uh, PCG. One, two of the uh, destroyers, very low hit points though. No more mana for Coil. We already used his greater mana potion. Loses one destroyer there finally. And that means he cannot uh, break the towers anymore. But we have so many skeletons. More and more skeletons because of uh, this. Uh, how do you call this? This little girl. Dark Ranger with every shot, she gets an extra skeleton. Uh, all the flying machines have been killed, but only one. Destroyer left, but there's uh, actually there's only two towers here left. Well, maybe with with this one, three. Oh, nice around here on the Archmage, but he does have a DP. He can TP out. We do have level three masonry now. Level five death knight as well. So uh, it's looking pretty bad here for Yumiko. Forty nine supply against twenty eight. Are these can these skeletons fit through though? Yeah, they can. And they're going for this arcane tower first, of course. They do extra damage against skeletons. Uh, arcane tower now going for the lich. And lich is losing all his mana, but the tower goes down. Now he's going for this tower. The fiends, can they reach it? I don't think so, right? This one is attacking the farm. Or oh, actually this farm. The tower uh, is going to stand for now, because there's only one destroyer and two skeletons attacking it. We have a peasant repairing it, and that's enough. So, um... Nice game. Yumiko loses on purpose, Kappa. To make Sawin not feel all that bad. He needs tanks. Let's see, what is, is he building? More flying machines. I mean, he only has one base. He has a flying machine there. He has some water elementals. The Archmage is almost level 5. Fiends. Abominations. No more destroyers. Oh, he has three statues, though. But he had one destroyer, right? Where did it go? Did he lose it to the towers, or is he... No, here he is. He's trying to eat some water elementals, maybe kill some knights or flying machines. Has to be careful of the trappers, of course. And the flying machines as well. We have five flying machines now. One destroyer cannot beat five flying machines. He did manage to push through into the base. Oh, this paladin, he has seen better days. Maybe he can hide somewhere in the trees, maybe over here. No, Paladin! <laughs> Get Frost Nova coiled. He is dead. He's gonna kill the town hall, or does it take too long? Seems it takes too long. He's just uh, going out, find the, the human. Webs, uh, webs a fiend. Uh, not the fiend. Webs a uh, flying machine. Should have used the holy light. Yeah, he could have. Don't think it mattered too much. Maybe a little bit extra damage on the Death Knight. But I don't think it's gonna matter. Uh, I mean, it could it could make a difference. A player's forces are under attack. Archmage is almost level five. A town is under Mountain King almost level three. The skeleton is killing everything over here. And what do we see here? Yumiko creeping some more. He's almost level five, almost level three. That would be nice. Paladin, level one. More loon, more loon, more loon. The mighty. I'm getting so hungry. I don't know why. I ate chicken. I ate chicken with vegetables before GCS. I shouldn't be hungry. Why am I hungry? This is not fair. I ate. I shouldn't be hungry. Lich is level 3, Dark Ranger is level 4 and a half. Okay, let's see, uh, maybe we can get a nice item here for a comeback. You're not eating enough. That's true, I mean, I didn't eat a lot. But uh, it's because we're out of food. I eat all, I ate all the vegetables we had. We still have a little bit of meat, that's about it. Legion Doomhorn, not bad. Knights can use some extra movement speed, but here comes a creep jack. The paladin has a TP though. 
Let's see if we can kill a knight. There, go there it goes. And the skeleton. Wait, what? Yeah, there's a the skeleton. Get more protein. I have some protein powder in this, but. Casting requires a lot of energy. Lots of energy. Hmm. Yeah. We have three zero upgrades, by the way, here for PCG. On the Phoenix, on the Destroyers. Is there a way for Yubinko to come back? Because he's still staying in the game. He is... Uh, there's still a small chance here for Yubinko. Small. He's only 16 supply behind. He has now a level 3 Paladin. Level 5 Archmage. Level 3 Mountain King. He has the hero levels. 533 against 543. But the Dark Ranger almost level 5. And there's no dispel for silence. Silence is going to be so strong here. This knight also dying there. The tunnel has been killed. This gold nice 2k gold. But out of gold here for, for uh, PCG. He's going for the expansion. But the knights, they find the skeleton. Or the skeleton finds the knights, however you want to put it. Flying machines find the expansion here. Forces are under attack. Our forces are under attack. This match is mystifying. Itch, Nuke, and Blizzard Knights. I mean, yeah, if you can get the Lich, that would be very nice. A Lich kill, of course, a hero kill, even a Death Knight. Death Knight kill, but Death Knight has info potion. Oh, the Dark Ranger! It's a, I feel like it's the least important hero, but he will kill the Dark Ranger. That's very nice. That's very nice. His heroes are still silenced, though. He might. He has to TP there. Has to TP. And meanwhile, these flying machines... Oh, they're being killed. They don't even have the ground attack, so I'm not sure what they were doing there. They don't have uh, flying machine bombs. He's getting tanks. One tank about to pop out. And here come the knights and militia. We don't have disease clouds, so the militia don't get sick. The lich in trouble! What's the death knight doing? Oh, losing the lich. Okay, never mind. I guess uh, this game was always P uh, Yumiko favored. <laughs> Yumiko. PCG, I should say. PCG could be come a bit better at this game. I would enjoy that. There it goes a fiend. This uh, abomination also is going to die here. There's a bash. He's dead. He's dead. I mean, this still this game is still far from over. But Yumi goes back in this game. This tank is uh, doing some damage here. He's not never going to get the expansion because the Death Knight with the fiends and the abominations can defend. What is he getting? The Dark Rangers uh, almost back. No. Tank is taking a lot of damage. Four fiends, a death knight, and an abomination, and a ghoul. He's blocking the abomination from uh, attacking. There's a beautiful count of a flank attack here with the knights against the fiends. Nice kill, fiends very fast. But there's no lich, there's no dark ranger, so there's not much DPS here for uh, PCG. But he still has a bigger army, of course. But he has worse upgrades, except that the, actually has three destroyers. They can kill the knights pretty fast. Use the cyclone on a knight, even. He should be attacking the knights, not the archmage. Come on. Come on, fight. Okay, whatever. He's uh, he's fighting here. The, the Mountain King is surrounded, but there's, of course, a staff. No, he used the staff, but he, the Mountain King fights his way through uh, through the ghouls. And this uh, this knight might fall here. No, this knight might fall here. We still have a coil. We have plenty of coils. He hardly used any coils there. And he goes for the tank now. 50 spy gets 47. I mean, the destroyers have 3 0 upgrades. The knights have uh, 1 2. Abomination 0 0. The flying machines 0 2. Is the Dark Ranger out yet? Yes. Now he just needs to wait for the Lich. Lich is only level 3. Oh, Dark Ranger almost level 5, by the way. Lich was only level 3, so uh, he will be back in no time. There's a level 5 Dark Ranger, and he will get 4 skeletons over here. If he micro that correctly. Actually, I think he only got 3. He let one body on the ground. Mantle of Intelligence. Uh, there's no reason to keep this. I would wait for the Lich. 
I mean, the list is only level 3. You could creep the list up to uh, whatever level you want. Meanwhile, uh, this was scrapped here by Human by Yumiko. I'm not sure what item he got there. Ring of Regeneration. Level 4 Mountain King, level 5 Archmage, level uh, 3 Paladin, almost level 4. Uh, did he get the Skeletons, by the way, or the Silence? That's a good question. He got Silence, level 3. Also, a Tome of Agility is nice. He, uh, the Mantle of Intelligence picked up by Yumiko here. Too many uh, flying machines here for the destroyers to handle. They are all going to die. The Dark Ranger! Oh, she, well, she caused the Silence, so she will survive. But she's getting bashed quite a lot. Death Knight, what is he called on the coil? Maybe the Dark Ranger. There's a beautiful timing on the coil. I guess the, I was wrong. The destroyers do win against the flying machines. Um, interesting. Of course, they have better upgrades. The flying machine is 0 2 upgrades. The destroyers 3 0. But this is out, by the way. There's not a coil on the Dark Ranger. And the info potion used here on the Archmage. This knight is taking a lot of damage, but the Dark Ranger will fall here. Lich doesn't have uh, mana at the moment. We have a level 4. Level 4 Paladin now. He picked level 2 uh, Divine Shield, so he can go Invulnerability forever. There it is. 30 seconds. Uh, the Lich standing here doing nothing. The Death Knight taking some damage. He still has the Info Potion. The Archmage is taking a lot of damage as well, but there's a Holy Light on the Archmage. And this game is still far from over. We have a tank here in the meantime, by the way. But this base is out of gold. He's long distance mining. So PCG can win here with the income. Against no income. PCG is still going to win. Even though I'm not sure if he deserves it, but we'll see in the third game. He, uh, he should probably move his Archmage out. It's a bit risky, but maybe he's got with a flying machine. Just uh, just not to share the XP here with the Archmage, who doesn't get any XP. I mean, level 5 Paladin, level 5 Mountain King, he could still maybe win the game. So I'm not sure why he didn't move his Archmage away there. Uh, it's a bit risky, but at this point you have to play risky as Yumiko. You don't have the income, your opponent does. A are under Maybe he just wanted to, do, to attack as soon as possible. So that's why he crept as soon as possible. The tank going for the uh, Hunter Gold Mine, the Knight going for this uh, Acolyte. What do we have over here? We have uh, all three heroes back. Dark Ranger's back, level 3 Silence, remember. Uh, but he doesn't have the mana. Okay, great. Flying machines, the how do you call them? Destroyers drink some water elemental, so they do splash damage against these uh, flying machines. A lot of damage. They die very fast. They win the fights against the. Uh, oh, but the Dark Ranger take a lot of damage. Do we have coil? No, we. We did have a coil, but the use is on the destroyer, not on the Dark Ranger. A holy light there on the Mountain King. The Lich in trouble. Stormbolt, holy light. She, uh, he's dead. Uh, Death Knight use the coil again on the destroyer, uh, the, letting his other heroes die. He still has an info potion there. Uh, another Stormbolt, Holy Light here, but he won't die yet. He has an Info Potion. Coil's dead knight. And now the Archmage taking a lot of damage. There's one more Coil. Where's the Holy Light? There's the Holy Light. Uh, we can eat, drink the Water Elemental. But, uh, let's see. There's a Knight over here. This tank's taking a lot of damage. The Death Knight has to be careful. There's a Stormbolt and a Holy Light. If he loses the Death Knight, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? Okay, well now we have level 5 Mountain King, level 5 Paladin. GG. Yumiko does win this game. As is deserved here. Um, two zero, right? Did I forget to update earlier? That it was one zero. Well it's two zero now. Yumiko wins two zero over PCG. And uh, of course Yumiko deserves the golden cup. There. Okay, oh, um, there, great. The golden cup here for Yumiko, he wins the group. And of course a nice silver cup here for PCG. He did uh, well beating Sawin with the Panda and Mass Destroyers, uh, Mass Frostworms I mean.